There we go. Uh, two seconds, people. What's going on, people? Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, even though there's only one person here at the minute. <laughs> I've literally just started. Uh, it's been on to o'clock. You are. Who's the first person to join today? Um, baby's still awake and the kids are in the front room. You might hear a bit of background noise, but there's not much we can do about that. Um, I'm giving another go on StreamYard tonight. See how I get on. I don't really know how to use it, but just in case anybody wants to join later or anything like that, you can have guests on the old StreamYard. That's the idea. Better get a beer open, I suppose. Beer without a beer. Oh, I haven't got the comments on. Uh, there we go. Quite helps, isn't it? First beer today is a uh, Weinbacher Vice beer. I wanted to go to Lidl to get there, and them six Vice beers for six ninety nine, but the missus still weren't feeling very well today, so I didn't want to ask her to go there, so we just went out and east instead. It's still a really good little wise beer, this. Then it's one pound fifty at the minute, or one forty nine at the minute. I think they knocked the price down because of um I think they knocked the price down because of the deal in Lidl's, but it still doesn't touch that deal in Lidl, does it? Give it a little swirl. We don't really get no yeasty goodness in this one though, unfortunately. A little bit maybe. <laughs> Beer baddie, it's beer monster o'clock. How you doing, Michael, mate? You can crack open a beer now, mate. <laughs> I know you've been waiting. Last night you uh, said you had 11 beers, was it? But tonight? Why do I look weird? Look like I've got makeup on or saying. Well, I don't like the stream yard. It makes it look like a like AI version of me or saying. It's, it's weird. Makes me look far prettier than I am in real life. Shouldn't complain, really, should I? <laughs> All right, cheers, everybody. First beer of the day. Who have we got in here? Six people. What are you drinking, people? What's your first beer of the day, or what was your first beer of the day? If you beat me to it. Oh, it's lovely. That is lovely. A little bit warmer than I normally have it, actually. I've literally just come back from Aldi. And I put it in the freezer for about five minutes. Uh, but it is bringing, bringing out a bit more of the flavour. I quite like it. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I'm having my rice beers too cold. But that probably boils down to personal preference because they're super refreshing when they're cold. But if they're not quite as cold, you do get a bit more flavour. So it's... Depends what you're after, I suppose, isn't it? Weather will probably makes a big part on that. Jennifer crosses in. Well, hello, boys. <laughs> Should that be pet shop boys after what you were about yesterday? <laughs> oh, God, don't remind me. <laughs> that was a mad chat last night. Thanks for joining that uh, last night, guys. Because uh, I think it, well, nearly everyone here so far joined the last night's one. And it was just one of them sort of heat of the moment unplanned ones. So I wasn't expecting anyone to join. So hey, thank you for that. Michael's already had five beers. I'll start drinking at six six forty. I can click the comments on stream yard, can't I? Uh started drinking at six forty on my drinking days. Oh, you have like an exact time and everything. <laughs> uh Bontez, how you doing, mate? Thanks for joining the stream. That six pack in Lidl is one pound ninety in a bottle at the moment. Bargain, decent stuff as well. I mean, that's that's a cracking deal, isn't it? That really is a good deal. As I say, I, I would have picked them up, but um, Aldi's is closer, and the missus ain't all that well. I was lucky to get her to take me in the first place because she's not been great today. 
I thought I was going to have to go around Tesco's again and get more Heineken. It's nice to have something different. Uh, I've got a little bit of a little bit of a few different a bit of variety tonight. That's the word I'm looking for. I've got a couple of ice beers. I've got because we was talking about it last night briefly, and it made me fancy it. The Rossini Grand Reserva. Got a bottle of that, or did I get two? I can't remember. Um, what else did I get? I got four cans of uh, Vine Backer Pills now. You do. That's a, <laughs> always pick some of that up. Um, oh, I got a couple of because Home Bargains is right next to Aldi, so I nipped in there quickly. I got a few more of them Baltic Lagers by Love Lane Brewery. Fantastic deal, one pound twenty. They are eleven people in. Scared on people. Say hello in the chat. What are you drinking? What are you up to this weekend, people? Anyone up to anything exciting? Um, we've got a few people not feeling too well in the house, so might not get up to much. Thinking about going to Leeds Castle tomorrow if the miss is feeling up to it. A bit unsightly, isn't they? Uh, Jennifer Cross has been to Morrison and did a random beers four for seven quid. I like that deal, Morrison's because they got all the real wells in that in it as well, weren't they, Jen? Um, got some banana bread beer to try, just want it chilled a bit longer in the fridge. I know the exact beer you're on about, uh, Jennifer, and I'll tell you what it tastes like for me anyway. Because even though I reviewed it about a year ago, it's one of them beers. It's very unique. You tend to remember the ones that are a bit out there and unique. You know them like banana sweets you get? Is it banana splits? Or I can't remember the name of them, but you know what I mean. Them banana sweets are about that big. And um, it tastes just like them. It's kind of like an artificial sort of banana -y taste. Not a sort of banana -y taste you get of a wheat beer. But if you like them sweets, you might enjoy it. It wasn't too bad. The bad thing for me was the banana was definitely a artificial, as I say, like banana split sweet. It's bang on. It tastes exactly like them sweets, as long as they ain't changed it. You never play out these days, do you, with beer? So, I mean, normally with ours, I'd say don't chill them, but with something like that, probably don't matter too much. You're still going to taste that banana. Oh. That is tasting really nice tonight. Always find vice beers. I love them, but I don't drink them every day because like the local shops don't sell them. I have to go to Aldi or something. And then when you're not had one for a few weeks, oh, it's absolutely lovely. I think the last time I had one was a couple of weeks ago when I went live before I went away. Uh retro dave all right as everyone tonight how you doing retro dave thanks for uh joining us for a beer in the chat mate i'm doing pretty good today still got a little bit of trap wind but let's not start talking about assholes again like last night or we'll be out here for hours uh <laughs> blue fox thanks for joining the stream mate uh evening i've just had the spatten three for six pan of sainsbury's and the veltons and asda Cheap, great German beers, mate. I completely agree with you, hundred percent. They're both fantastic beers. They really are top, top, top draw. And three for six quid, you can't go wrong. My Tesco's Express around the corner does a three for six deal, but they've only got really crap beers in it. Um, so yeah, that Velton's Pilsner. When as the first released out, I grabbed three for six quid because I knew it was going to be good. It's German. <laughs> It's German. It's actually brewed in Germany. It's a Pilsner. I love Pilsners. So I just confidently confidently picked up three bottles of it because you just know when it's German, there's not there's not a risk there really, is there? Whereas if it was something new that was UK brewed, believe me, I'm only picking up one of them because you know it's probably going to be crap. <laughs> what one did you enjoy more, Blue Fox? The Veltman's Pilsner. Or the Spatten. Because to be fair, you could get it quite easily make an argument for both. Just depends what you like, doesn't it? They're both great beers. It was surprised me when I reviewed the Veltons Pilsner. I think a German guy commented on my review. Um, and he said, like, believe it or not, this is like a 
quite a cheap beer in uh, in Germany. I was quite surprised. <laughs> Jamie Watton's in. Bash. How you doing, mate? Hope you're keeping well. Hope life's treating you a, a bit better than it was a few weeks back, mate. God. Uh, Jennifer Cross. I got the black sheep rig welter. Rig welter. That it sounds like some sort of anal STD or something, doesn't it? I've got to go on about asses again. Rig welter. Maybe they might find some of them up my bum. <laughs> Rig welter owl. And a badge of thirsty ferret just for the giggle. Why not? It's fun trying them, Jennifer, isn't it? Um, I've had both of them. The Rig welter, I've not reviewed it, though. I, well, I kind of did review it, but I'm sure I messed up or sank really badly in the video, so I never posted it. And I've not got around to trying it again. Uh, but enjoy it, Jennifer. It's nice to try different beers, isn't it? Uh, keep forgetting to click because now we're doing it on stream live now. I can click the comments and they show up on the screen, but when I'm streaming on YouTube, I can't do that. I've got to get used to it, that I can do it, if you know what I mean. So I do apologize. <laughs> I forget to, forget to click on your comments. Just tell me in the comments or whatever, I'll keep forgetting. Uh, Batten is a, a good hell is, yeah. It is. I mean, I think I just edged towards the Velton's Pilsner personally, and that's just because I prefer a Pilsner over hell is. It's not to say that Spatten's bad, because it ain't fantastic. I think it's just because Velton's is my preferred style. I think it just boils down to that. Um, you got a date tomorrow. That's it, mate. Get back on the... Uh, Get back on the horse and um, do some more, or do some riding. I'm oh, glad to hear that, Jamie, mate. Sometimes the best way is just to put yourself out there and then um, find somebody who's not going to shag your brother. I'm sure you'll find someone better than that. Uh, Mr. Ronald's in. Hello, mate. Bash, Bash Ronald. How you doing, mate? I call you Ronald. I know it's not your name. Just, just so used to seeing your YouTube name. Do you know what I mean? I've got him on Facebook and everything. But, um, I hope you're doing well, mate. Good to see you in, as always. I actually done a little live last night, but because I was bored. Uh, Retro Dave, I'm having the Grand Reserve, a cracking beer for the price. I've got one in the fridge, uh, Retro Dave. I um we were talking about that last night a bit and I made me fancy one so I picked one of them up starting off with the vice beer tonight because I've not had one for a couple of weeks and I might move on that might be me uh next beer the Grand Reserva I'll drink the cheaper ones later on when I don't really care oh that has really made me think that as the vice beer as I say I've never drunk it this warm before. I always have it like lager cold. But when I didn't have the time to chill it that much, I was kind of thinking, oh, I've sod it. You know, but it's actually tasting maybe better, slightly warmer, which is why it'd be good to get one of them perfect draft pros because you can set the temperature with the beer. So you can like, there's one thing, like you like a beer, you like a beer. For example, your favorite beer, but then you can experiment at trying it at all different temperatures and then find, you know, the perfect temperature for your perfect beer. It's got to be fun, isn't it? Um, Michael Slogan says, I've watched your first beer review. You're not even that bad at the time. The only thing is it's recorded on the shit iPhone probably. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, my old phone. I think I'd did it on the front camera or something instead of like the rear camera. Uh, I don't know. I think it's quite bad. Um, yeah, I was just so nervous, so nervous. I sort of froze. <laughs> but, um, yeah, back then, like, because all the sort of beer monster o'clock and uh, check out the arenas and is it worth a buy and all that sort of stuff. That's all just sort of kind of been added as time has gone on. And no doubt this time next year, there'll probably be a few other things I always say or whatever. No, but I didn't start off saying all that crap. <laughs> I 
I think the aroma thing did come about that this check out the aromas was because you know I'm just a normal guy. I'm not a beer snob. I'm into me beer. I have started to learn quite a lot about beer, but I'll definitely say I'm not a snob. You can tell I'm not a snob. Most of the time I'm getting up stuff from my own bargains and that. I always find it a bit snobby sniffing your beer. So I don't really actually care what it smells like, smells like but I know there are people that do care. So I just sort of take the piss out of it a bit, you know? Like... <coughs> Great question. The Spaten Hellers I prefer, but I usually do prefer Pilsners in general. The Spaten at 5.2 is so clean and definitely is a creep, but yeah, it's super clean, mate. It's very, very nice. Retro Dive, I'll clean the shelf. Why not, mate? <laughs> if you know you like it. I met this girl at work on the site. We're going for a drink and then to the football game. Fair enough. If you, you know, if you, you manage to get to go to a football game, that's a good sign, isn't it? Glad you're okay, mate. Didn't see you live last night, but was in bed early, mate. Yeah, no worries. It was completely unplanned. Uh, the missus weren't well, so she went to bed like eight o'clock. The kids were in bed, and I just felt like a chat where I hadn't done a live for a couple of weeks. I just didn't feel like watching a film or anything. I thought, sorry, let's just see if anyone's on. And in the in the end, I think about eighteen people joined or saying we had a a lot of talk about assholes. Um an operation I've got coming up. And a few people had already had that operation. That was quite fun to sort of talk about our experiences. Right, my beer had it done and he said he was scarred for life. It was so funny. He was having it done, Ronald, and he said that he um the nurses. I know I like George Michael, but this is taking a piss. <laughs> Uh, at Jamie, get in there, stud. Get in there, stud. Just remember to tell her she looks nice. <laughs> okay, Jennifer. Yeah, even if you don't mean it, just tell her she looks all right and then get in there. <laughs> um, Jack Anderson, can we talk about something cool like slavery? Oh, God. I love all that junk. I don't think there's anything cool about it. Never be negative. You're good then and now amazing. Amazing now. Cheers, mate. I think it's just confidence is what it is. You just get more confident. To go along when you post that first video, you don't know what you're doing, you've got no idea if anyone's even going to watch it, you've got no idea what anyone's going to think because you've never put a video up before. You know, it's just it's very nerve wracking, and especially with my anxiety. And that I was like, as I was saying last night, it took me two years. I knew for two years I wanted to make a beer review channel. I really wanted to do it to have that sort of journey of trying all the beers. I just could not put the camera on. Uh, and then one day, I don't even know why it was. I think I watched somebody's like video on YouTube about starting a YouTube channel, and it made me switch the camera on because he was just like, um, just to let you know, your first video is not going to be good. You're going to look back on it, and you're going to cringe. You're not going to like it. But just switching that camera on, making the first video it doesn't matter if it's good that's the start of your journey and the only way is up from then you know and i just thought you know what he makes a good point sod it and then just done it banana beer are you drinking it now Jenny? <laughs> did you just try it it tastes like them bloody fake sweets didn't it and um banana sweets But it's interesting. I didn't particularly like it, though. Too artificial tasting for me. Bontez, good beers on Perfect Draft as well. 99 quid. That's a keg at the moment. Really? 99 quid and you get a keg? Oh. 
I take it that's the normal one though, isn't it? The normal perfect draft, but still, if you get a keg as well, because they're about 35 quid each, isn't they? Something like that. Why is that so cheap? Is that a pre owned one or something? What do it really matters? Uh, Michael Slocum, you always make a good video. Cheers, mate. Do me best. <laughs> Jennifer Cross, she drinks pints. <laughs> Bet she does. What's the opposite of your having a bud? What's, what's the opposite of your having? The, what's the opposite of your having a bud? Uh, you're having a beer, I suppose. <laughs> you're having a bud bar. She's still woman and say she looks nice. We'll get you brownie points. <laughs> the way we used to not treat them like humans. Yeah, mate, if you're going to be racist, I'm going to have to get rid of you. Uh, that's what I said to the missus. Switch the camera on. I've got a name to uphold. Right, Jack man, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Jagger the Shag is in. Don't know Jagger, he's a, the biggest slut on YouTube. <laughs> Yuck, yep, sweats, but a bit fun back. The Tisky, yeah, it's it's a weird one, isn't it, Jennifer? It's like, I mean, I quite liked them banana sweets when I was a kid. They were right, but putting them in a beer, nah. You know what I mean? Some things just they just don't work, do they? Uh, sorry, mate. I mean, what's the operation you're having, bud? Oh. I was I'm speaking, what the fuck is he on about? Is that too many water, uh, or steiners, or well, no, what's the other one you drink? Cronbach. <laughs> uh, I've got, I forget the name of it, but I think it's got anal in it. I've got to have a camera up my asshole, um, to check for bowel cancer. Basically, they're not massively thinking I've got it, but they just want to rule it out because they're still trying to find out what exactly is wrong with me. I went to the doctor's yesterday. Uh, I'm getting given a uh, steroid asthma pumps. So I've got to take twice a day um, for six weeks. And if there's an improvement, I'll be on them for life. And also they want to check me bowels because I'm literally shitting six or seven times a day. It's absolutely mental. Uh, so I've got to have a camera thing done. And I mentioned it on Rate My Beers Live the other day. And he's had it done before. And he told me honestly what it was like. And now I'm shitting myself. Um, he was, he was, uh, he said, oh, he's, he's never been the same man since. I don't know if he's just trying to scare me. He can be a bit of a drama queen, but fucking hell. You know, when you really regret asking someone what it was like, apparently they go about three foot into your ass and then man the corners and everything. Jesus. Uh, yeah, refurbish the original three degrees is sweet, though. True, I mean, just don't buy stuff that you would rather be warmer if you ain't got the pro. Just buy lagers and stuff like that. Three degrees, you're laughing, ain't you? So you get a refurbished perfect draft and a keg for £99. Oh, that is really tempting me. That is really tempting me. There's nothing to lose, really, is it? You know, if, you, if I buy it and I don't get on with it, I can drink the keg and then just sell the machine for 60 quid or whatever, and I've not lost anything, have I? Very, very tempting. Dagman, all good, mate. Hope you're good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, mate. Thanks for joining last night as well. It was good to see you, mate. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if anybody wants to come for a chat, you're welcome. As long as there's not like, 10 people or saying I can't be dealing with too many on the Cronbacker tonight. 
You know what, Ronald? I need to have that again because I've reviewed it and I liked it from what I can remember. I thought it was decent. But I didn't like massively like it compared to some of the other ones. It might just be me. Perhaps it was a bad bottle. But for that rate, I think I might have gave it an eight and a half around that sort of mark, uh, which of course is a good score. But for a German Pilsner, and I love Pilsners, you know, my, most of them are like nine plus. But it could have just been perhaps it weren't the right temperature, or I feel like I want to try another one because a lot of people really like it. And you know, you do sometimes get a bad bottle, or like I say, it could be a temperature thing, could have been to do with my palate. I hate saying that word, but um, you know, perhaps what I'd had for dinner that night or whatever didn't agree with it. But it's one of them beers I want to go back and revisit for sure. Uh, past the loop, <laughs> oh, don't Jennifer. God, don't or I'll film it and put it on uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> Come and have a look inside my arsehole because you can actually look at the camera while they're doing it as well. You can look inside your own ass. But a lot of people keep saying to me that the, the drinks are even worse than the bloody camera up the bum. They're so fine, hard to believe, but you've got to have three drinks the night before and they like proper, like clear, clear you out and you're pissing water all night. Spend the evening on the toilet roll. On the toilet roll, on the toilet. Oh. Bontez, yes. Oh, I oh, about the refer. Yeah, I mean, that's as long as it works. I mean, I'm sure they'll be, they'll probably give it a year guarantee or something, wouldn't they? Your one works. Anything over three, just leave it for 20 minutes in the glass. True. True, or just um, don't put the. Uh, Take in the fridge, I suppose. I don't know. Oh no, but then it's gonna it's gonna make it colder anyway, isn't it? I don't really know how they work. I've never had one to be honest. Um i just the thing that concerns me of them is the price of the kegs. When you pay like 35 quid for a keg, you get one review out of it. But I'm thinking about buying one, you know, I, I can get that one review and then I can just maybe have one decent beer every now and again, you know. Because they last for thirty days, didn't they? You don't have to, you don't have to nick it all in one night. Um, I need to get another beverage. The more drunk I get, you start not understanding me. But let me be nice. I'm trying to make sense. What I'm trying to say? You're all right, mate. I'm not good at typing in all that either, so. A lot of time, even if you're talking bollocks when you're drunk, I can get what you mean most of the time. Trust me, it's a great German lager, mate. Do revisit, review, mate, yeah. Yeah, there's a few that I want to revisit. Some stouts as well. Because when I first started the channel, I didn't like stout. So I pretty much hated, like, the first 10 stouts I tried. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh. But... Well, uh, I just got used to them after a while. It's so weird. So weird. I think a lot of it as well was discovering that there's a lot more than... There's so many different stouts. You can like stout, but only certain types of stout. Like I don't like the dessert in the can ones. I can't be dealing with that. But if it's like you know, uh, roasted malt and coffee and a bit of tobacco or something along them lines... I'm cool with it. Give me a dessert, a dessert in a can. I'm like, oh, even that. Even if it's like a ten, if, even if everyone else says it's a ten out of ten beer, for me it's not. It's like a five or something because I just can barely drink one can of it, and I just get like sugar rush bouncing off the walls. Uh, oh, the free drinks a special brew. <laughs> Anything, oh, Bond says, anything over over three, just leave it 20 minutes in the car. <laughs> Special brew. I've done that on the channel as well. That's shit. Oh. 48 hours max for a first keg. All right, I'm going to go and get another beer. I won't be a sec, people. Um. I 
did get two. I did get two of the Bane back of Ice Beers. I'm going to have to have one of these. And then I might have to grab Reserva. Good edge. <clears throat> Anyone up to anything interesting this weekend? Okay. If the missus are right tomorrow, I'm thinking about going to Leeds Castle. We went there a couple of weeks ago. And um, once you go there, I mean, it costs us about 100 quid. But once you've been once, you can go for the rest of the year as many times as you want. It's one of them sort of one tickets, you know. Unlimited ticket. Uh, and the funny thing is, the first time we went, we didn't even go in the castle. <laughs> Kids were just playing in the park and all that. So maybe next time we go to visit Leeds Castle, might even go in the castle. You never know. But they had like birds of prey shows and stuff like that. We was busy doing other stuff. Blue Fox. How many different beers do you think you've tried? I've actually got a notepad on my phone with a whole list and ratings, just over 2,300 different ones at the moment. Fair play, Blue Fox. Um, I mean, review-wise, I think I've, I've done about 700 that I've reviewed, but obviously I've tried loads that I haven't reviewed. So, I mean... It'd be probably impossible to tell you, but I would say maybe about maybe around the same man as you, mate. Maybe about two thousand, maybe more. Because I've gone to like micro pubs where they've had like a few times where they've had like seven or eight different beers and just gone through the whole list, then gone back in that same pub and they got a whole new list of beers and gone through that. You know, it's, that that sort of gets the numbers up a bit. But I've never made note of it. Note of it so. <laughs> uh, then I've got what glass did your what, did, what glass did your mum's deal for you this week? <laughs> um, yeah, no glasses this week. Uh, my mum's had a bit of a tough week actually, but her uh, sister passed away, and it was a funeral yesterday. Um, and I couldn't go because I had to have my um the asthma test, didn't I? So I was gutted because I wanted to go her really more than anything well, that was my aunt i didn't really know her but she's doing all right six pack and leader was a bargain at the moment really good vice beer at that price i mean it's just over a quid a bottle in it that is i need to get down there it's not my nearest little's probably about 15 minutes away and we don't really have a reason to go there unless it's me seeing if there's any new beers, you know. <laughs> I mean, if it was closer, I'd probably be drinking it tonight. And what I can remember, I did review it. I liked it. I liked it about as much as I like this one. The Weinbacher Weiss beer, which is also very good from Aldi. Both great beers. Considering they're kind of like own brand beers, they're really not that far off. Um, you know, your sort of Paul Arners and the Franciscaners and Van Stefana. There's so many in there. Uh, Blue Fox. I was one of those people pre COVID who always drank the macro lagers and thought Peroni was the best thing ever. But yeah, it made me open my eyes and love trying new ones. The reason I went a bit weird there is because I was trying not to say that word. I think I might have said it. I don't know. Did I actually say it? But if I say that word, I don't get paid for the video. I don't make no money off the ad. They take all the adverts off and all that. And the only money I'd make is if anybody done a super chat. And that happened last night. I was talking about... Uh, the beer with the same name and my video got demonetized 
But it didn't, it didn't really bother me because I've done the video because I fancy the chat, you know. It was never about the money. But obviously, it's nice to have a couple of quid off the adverts to help pay for the bid. You know, that's all I look at. Yeah, no trick, no trying to trick me into saying that word. <laughs> a Stella arm filter that I've got at the back of the fridge at the shops is thin. No donkey is fine. Is that what you meant, mate? I'm not, or not skunky? Do you mean not skunky? Because sometimes the bottles can be a bit skunky with Stella Unfiltered, if you're unlucky. Tisky. I ain't got no Tisky this week, Jennifer. But, yeah, I do drink quite a lot of Tisky because I said, like, my nearest shop was Tesco Express. And uh, they do that three for six quid deal in there. But they don't have a big selection. And for me, that's probably the best beer in that selection. They don't have the Stella Unfiltered. They don't have nothing like that. It's like Tisky, normal Stella, Budweiser, uh, the beer that I cannot name, Peroni or something like that. Hack of Vice is my favourite, to be honest. But at that price, the little one is spot on. Yeah, I mean there are better. There, are, of course, there's better Vice beers than the little one, but there's not. Like nothing around that price, is there? That's even close. Then I'm built on the PD is very good. I wouldn't know, I've not tried it, but I've heard it is six quid for four cans, best cheap beer. What do I think is the best cheap beer that you can get for six? Is that what you're asking, Jennifer? Or are you saying that Tisky is the best cheap beer? I think you're saying Tisky is, yeah. What a correct is shit, sorry. Talking to the mic does nothing. Yeah, I'll do that when I'm texting. And then you send it, and then you like, you realise that you just... It's written something completely different than what you've said. Uh, G A T, how you doing, mate? Thanks for joining the live. Uh, you're on the Bud Far cans. Twelve for a tenner and as normally go to a quill, but I had none. Yeah, I know that deal you're on about. It's the stumpy cans. You can mix and match as well, can't you? And um, yeah, I normally go for the quill as well in that deal. Who's no quill is lovely been too long since i had it actually because um well i've been on holiday and stuff i've been to asda but when i do my weekly shop in asda i often pick up some the uh, pills that are quill oh, on me What I hate is you find a nice beer on offer and you go next week and it's double the price. Yeah. I hate that, Jennifer. And everything keeps going up as well. It's, uh, it's so annoying. It's just, you walk around the supermarket and you're like, mm, I swear that was about 30p cheaper uh, last week. It wouldn't be so bad if it just happened with one thing, but it happens with everything, doesn't it? It's like, so everything just goes up a little bit, and then by the time you've done your weekly shopping, it's added up to an extra 20 quid or something. You really don't start noticing it. And today, as an old is, it's got a basket full of shopping, 35 quid. What? Isn't the Tisky cans brewed in the Netherlands and Tisky bottles are Polish? Possibly. Sometimes it does vary, depending on whether it's in the bottle or the uh, can of some beers. Went to Turkey last year and I had a pool owner which was brewed in Turkey and it was awful. <laughs> Why do they do it? It's, 
They shouldn't be allowed to call it the same thing when it's clearly not. Uh, it's made in Holland by Grosch, but it's still not bad. You know, I think, think speaking of Grosch, because that's that's been uh it's had the bum hole sort of pampered with as well, a bit like I'm getting. It was uh it used to be five percent, didn't it? No, it's quite like Grosch, especially the bottles. But they've actually made it four percent now. I reviewed it about six months ago. This four percent version, and I was ready to go balls deep on this beer and proper slag it off because whenever they take like a whole percent off a beer, it always just completely ruins it. And I was surprised it was actually still nice. Like when they done it with Bex, completely killed the beer. But Grosch is one of the only ones where they massively reduced the ABV. But it still tasted decent to me. It could have been just because it was a summer's day and anything would have tasted decent at that particular moment. I don't know. I was surprised. Cream log. <laughs> Sometimes some things are better off not to say them. <laughs> oh my God, Bro's fan. But you had the tops in your pods. I think I might have the Grand Reserve next. Got a Grand Reserve. It's either going to be the Grand Reserve or the Love Lane Baltic Lager. What do you reckon, guys? Should I go for the Grand Reserve, which is a 5.9% lager? So that's got a bit of testicles about it. Or the uh, Love Lane Baltic Lager, which is in bargains craft lager that's actually very nice and very cheap. Your scumbag videos are brilliant. Does make you check the labels where it's brewed. Same label, but brewed somewhere completely different. So it's technically it is a different beer. It's so wrong it shouldn't be allowed. The same as like they, they don't have to put the ingredients that they're using in the beer on the can. I mean, you never get away with that food, would you? So they can put any old crap in here. And uh, unless it's like an allergen, they don't have they don't have to um to let you know. So you you know they don't have to let you know what you're putting in your body. I mean that's wrong, isn't it? Can't just go around putting things in people's bodies without them knowing. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy the scumbag videos. I need to make more, actually. I do need to make more. They, uh, people seem, a lot of people enjoy them, and I enjoy making them as well. So they're quite, um, you know, your idea is to sort of put the company down a bit. So you always get a few fanboys in the comments. Can you say Cruise Campo is bad? It's amazing. All right, mate, you go and enjoy it then. <laughs> but he says they're wrong at the same time, you know. If someone enjoys it, who are you to say that they're wrong? But a lot of the people that enjoy stuff like that haven't tried much else to really know how crap it is. Josh Mackey, how you doing, mate? Uh, had a couple of Aldi Grand Reservers tonight. Top beer. Cheers for your review. You're very welcome, mate. Um, it is a top beer. That's why I picked another one up. I really like it. Nice and strong as well, isn't it? Uh, you're too young. It's very trendy in the 90s to have gross tops in your pod shoes. Oh, what? Right. Well, I was around in the 90s, but I wasn't drinking gross until maybe like the very late 90s. <laughs> Grand from Aldi is decent, yeah. I even think the normal Rossini, because basically you've got the Rossini Grand Reserva, which is a copy of Peroni Grand Reserva, and then you've got the normal Rossini, 
which is their version of Peroni. I actually think both their versions are better than the um, Peroni, the real ones. Um, so I also put Rossini against Peroni. And for me, Rossini won, won it easily. I've had, you've just had two special brews, Zuke. <laughs> If you had a you had a, a tough day, mate. <laughs> when I want a beer or I want a two. So when you when you um when you drink, you drink, you just want to get smashed. <laughs> Blue Fox Stella is a prime example of that. So many different ABVs from where it's brewed. I had five percent Stella brewed in Germany by Bex. So why is it called Stella, not Bex? It's strange. Yeah, it's, it is really strange. Uh, take the edge off. <laughs> take the edge off. All right, cut, cut cans of special brew sort you out, mate. <laughs> Might have a banging hangover in the morning, though. Uh, it's kind of sad that the cheap supermarket Aldi and Lidl have some decent, some of the best beers. Yeah, I mean, it's sad, but it's good in a way. If you know, you know. You know, a lot of people would be like, yeah, I'm not drinking stuff from Audi. I'm going to drink my Stella. Little do they know. They think they're drinking a better product, drinking the Stella. Perhaps they was 10 years ago. It was born in 92. I was born in 85. It was okay. Lars, glad you like the rough, the roughest Tanny Zephyl. Probably absolutely butchered that one. One of my favorites for yeah. I like the Pilsner as well. Very, very decent beers. Very, very decent. I take it you're a fan as well, mate. The normal Rossini is better than Peroni. Yeah, it is. It is. For me, it's not even close. I'll, I'll put them together side by side. Completely unbiased. The Rossini was better. I was actually quite surprised because I think in my head I had it down that Peroni is one of the better beers. Lagers sort of thing. But I think I was wrong about Peroni. I don't really rate it anymore. But then I swear, sometimes Peroni tastes better out of a bottle than it does a can. You're having a little spliffy. Zoops. Jesse Zuke. I don't smoke spliffs anymore. I used to. I used to um we bang on it <laughs> uh then i started having started having kids and i knocked on the head plus it was making me crazy paranoid once i started getting stronger and that weren't for me anymore i bex dmb yo what's going on mate thanks for joining the live hope you're doing well You're from Farrakh. That's not too far away from me, mate. Oi, Pilsner. Oi, Pilsner. Love Guinness. I like Guinness as well. I like the Guinness Nitro Surge cans. They're really good. With the little device you've got on them. A bit faffing about, but... I've had it down as Veronica being a good quality beer. It's dropped in percent, yeah. It used to be stronger, didn't it? And I think since they since they lowered it, again, I think they only lowered it very slightly, but it still makes a difference.
Guinness and chilled cherries flower. Bontez never had Peroni from a can, to be honest. But the bottle is inconsistent. I would have seen a much better beer. Yeah, I, I think so too. I mean, well, when I put them together in that beer battle, I definitely think the Rossini was better. It was very, very clear to me as well. It wasn't even close. And it really took me by surprise because I sort of thought it was going to be quite a close one. Yeah, it was 5-1, now it's 5, yeah. But just that 1% made such a big difference. Thurrock. Have you tried Kill Kenny? No, I've not. I really want to try that though, actually. And I want to try the um oh what's the other one called? There's a stout in there. But the only problem is I have to use like beers of Europe or something like that to get that sort of stuff. Around here anyway, as far as I know. You have to spend like, well, you used to get free delivery on beers in Europe if you spent over 60 quid, but now they've, they've knocked that on the head. So that's put me right off of it. Oh, yes, okay. That that was me. That was that was my beer back in the day. That's that's the proper wife beat yourself, stuff, that one, mate. <laughs> I used to love that. I've got so many memories of getting smashed on that when I was really young. Uh, like, you know, like 18, 19, and uh, throwing up all over my brother's bathroom. And, <laughs> and uh, you, they used to do it in a six for a five a deal. I and mean, that was all I needed. <laughs> there used to be a red Guinness, too. Yeah, I think I've heard about that. They also do a lager. Do you do spirits? I like spirits, but I tend to just avoid them mostly. I had a few on holidays on on, on holiday where the um where the uh, beers were so expensive. I was having the odd spirit. They were really expensive as well. It cost me nine pound eighty for a double kraken and coke. But I really like that kraken stuff. That's very nice. Very nice. If you've not tried cracking, not feel you're cracking, cracking, I recommend that. It's very, very nice. It's much better than Captain Morgan Spice. For me, anyway. My missus prefers a Captain Morgan, but the cracking's a bit stronger. So. Guinness is a classic, isn't it? Bontez, yes, 5.2 Stella was where it was there. It's not one beer now I can get in the UK that is decent beer. Sad times. It, it is really sad times. Um, hopefully they start bringing more German beers over here, making them more readily available. Because then it's going to force eventually people will realise and it's going to force these other breweries that keep lowering the quality and all that to up their game. We love Captain Morgan, Elizabeth McCormack. Yeah, I like Captain Morgan as well. Uh, but then I tried Kraken and then I prefer I prefer Kraken. Yeah, you can have it with ginger beer as well, uh, like Jennifer says. Kraken, Kraken, Kraken is a Kraken drink now. It's for me, it's like a better version of Captain Morgan. Although uh, not everybody agrees with that. My missus prefers the captain. But for me, Kraken's on the, on the next level. You do pay a bit more for it, mind you. Um, have you tried Thatcher's Lemon? Not yet. I probably will. I want to start doing more sides on the channel. I picked up one today from Home Bargains. Can't remember what it's called, to be honest. But it's in a little can. It was 99p. Um so that'll be coming up soon. Because you know me, I'll put the home bargains ones at the front of the queue. Because <laughs> that's how much of a whore I am for home bargains. I used to buy two Ks for one pound each and end up throwing three quarters of one. 
I'll just get in the toilet. What did you do, Jay? <laughs> I fell into a barren ring of fire. Yeah, but... <laughs> I've uh, gone for the Grand Reserva. You've not tried that lager. Uh, I highly recommend it. I think I gave it a 9 out of 10 when I reviewed it. It's very nice. 5.9% though. So um, it will <laughs> uh, get to you after a bit. Very nice lager. Oh, 3.9 units in one bottle. So 6.60. Whoa, that's gone mental. Dark and stormy. And I was like 15, maybe 14. Batches blood orange, I love. Sorry, it's going in the uh, wheat beer glass. Don't really matter, I can use a lager for it. It's like pills in a glass. Very nice. Uh, I've not tried the blood orange one either. Have you tried pearl of green? Yeah, I have. I've tried the Mia Dower as well. I like him. I like him. I like that Polish beer. £6.50 for, for what you was going to pay for Madri on your holiday. And that's just ridiculous. I know it's fucking crazy. And even on, even on tap, it's rough. It's just got that slightly sort of I don't know it, it not too bad and then just towards the end it just tastes a bit arsehole-y just ugh. Henry Weston's 8.2 percent I've had that one I had that actually a couple of nights ago as a sort of put me to bed slip <laughs> put me to bed drink and it definitely did put me to bed but it's one of them ones, like especially if you have it at the end of the night, it's so easy to drink. And you well, it's 8.2%, but you just don't detect it. And I'll tell you what, if you want to get smashed for cheap, you can get three bottles of that for six quid in Tesco's and 8.2%. No, know, you'll be on your way. Right, off charge. I want to have a Perla with Yazuki. <laughs> Henry Weston's in Martin uh, Tram Fave. They do a cloudy one as well, didn't they? There are a few. I'll need to review Henry Weston's, the normal one on the channel, the 8.2 one. Because um, I've not actually done it. I did buy it when I bought it the other night. Thought, well, if I don't drink it tonight, I'll review it. But of course, I drank it tonight. <laughs> Hearts in chat. What does that mean? Oh.
Come back, come back. It's a little bit morty. Show him some love. Do K. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Uh, mine, Thomas. Good evening, Adam. Went to Home Bargains and grabbed four five hundred ml cans of Australia. Damn! On special buyer, five pound forty nine. A nice tasting lager, which is brewed in Barcelona and imported over. That's a nice lager. That yeah, that's not a bad price, is it? For five hundred ml cans as well, you can't go wrong, can you? Enjoy, mate. You still drinking them now? <laughs> Maybe old and love pints. Can we get glass that takes 660 in one go? Yes, Jennifer. You know it. No. I've got several that could. I've got ones you can put a 660ml bottle in it and it's not even half full. The old start, the German stains. I do like drinking out of them, but they're got some weight to them, ain't they? You see these women on YouTube carrying like 10 stein for a beer. I mean, I'd struggle to do that. And these are like five foot women. Uh, tastes a bit assholey. Yeah, Madri does. It does have that sort of. That's how I describe it. It's, it's a bit assholey. A lot of the UK brewed stuff, like now Stella's brewed in the UK, the 4.6 one. It just, they all just have that hint of arsehole on the end. It's like an arsehole astringent bitterness. Uh, also, have you tried Zuba Polish Lug? Yeah, I have done. Six percent ABV. Normally in premier local stores, goes down like treacle. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's strong as well. It's one of them ones that catches up with you, isn't it? <laughs> it's nice. There's the one with the bison on it, isn't it? I, I, I do like that. It's a nice, strong beer. No nonsense Polish beer. A lot of the Polish beers are strong. Mr. B is in the house. How you doing, Rob? Evening, Adam and chat. Hope you're doing good, mate. Mr. B is a brewer. Does home brews and that. I've not tried anything of his yet, but I've seen other people try them and make some good beers. Henry Weston's Organic and or Rose. I don't think I've tried them ones, okay? Zuba's good, but it's one. Of, it's one. Of, it's one of them lagers. It, it, I think sometimes I get confused. I tried a lot of Polish beer. I think it's a little bit syrupy, but it's still somewhat okay. It's one of them ones. Like some some of these beers, I use the glucose syrup, and it just ruins it. But some of them, I don't know. They kind of make it work. Uh, I guess when they're stronger, they need to have some bit more sweetness to them, don't they? But I think the stronger ones that use syrup. Sometimes get away with it a bit more because it's stopping you tasting the alcohol at the end of the day, isn't it? Banana bread beer. Banana, I love banana bread. I don't love that beer that you're drinking, though. Let's <laughs> we'll say it's not, if it was like banana bread. If it tasted like banana bread, it'd probably be nice, but it tastes like them banana sweets, didn't it? Banana splits. Wow. Oh. You know what? I forgot to share the link on Facebook. I'm not sure I know how to do it. Two seconds, people. Uh... Mm -hmm. uh, copy it's a bit more difficult when you're on stream yard uh one second Uh, um, oh, I don't know what I'm bloody doing. Uh, 
There we go. Figure it out. Sorry about that, people. I was just uh, sharing a link on Facebook because um, sometimes uh, people join on the old Facebook, you know? Pardon me. Good old Stain, yeah. By the way, if anybody wants to come and have a chat, I can invite you if you want to come on uh, YouTube and have a little chat with me about whatever you like. But not about slavery, like that guy I wanted earlier. Location chocolate caramel stout. See, that sounds like one I wouldn't like. It sounds sweet to me. Walker is a good Polish log. I've had that one as well, mate. Is a Spurs fan lurking in the background? <laughs> Probably be quiet this week. <laughs> You might be. <laughs> hmm. I had a joke earlier. What was it? Um, all right. Some, some of you might have heard this, but I just randomly come across it. It's not my joke, but I thought it was funny, but it is sexist. So, you know, but I'm pretty sure that Jennifer can handle it anyway. Uh, I see it on a short when I was flicking through on the YouTube earlier. All right. See if anybody knows it first, or you can guess the answer to the joke if you like. Name a word for uh, coming inside a woman. Another word for coming inside a woman, what? Right? Anybody got one? Word for, word for spunking inside a woman. MS. Ask Hams. Okay, slavery. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely going to offend someone if we talk about that. You know what I mean? You can't have a bit of banter about certain, certain things you can banter about and get away with, and certain things are just a big no no. You know what I mean? And sadly, that's one of them. I would quite happily talk about it, but I'll only upset someone. Um, yeah. What words have you got? <laughs> what words have you got? Guys, for for you know, shooting your load inside a woman, you could have cream pie. Um, I heard another word for it earlier, and it just really fucking made me laugh out loud. Has anybody got it? Has anybody know it? Word, another word. What's your best word you got for when a bloke comes inside a woman? He was looking for a fight. Yeah, some people. Some people just. They like going on lives and just trolling people, didn't they? I mean, probably an 18 year old or saying, I mean, I was young once. Uh, mine's blank, but I'm always, <laughs> it's surprisingly watery. So, no one's got a word for coming inside a woman. I'll tell uh, if anyone's got one, let me know, but I'll tell you. One that I heard earlier, the guy said he's <laughs> worth for coming inside a woman. Uh, you want to know what it is, uh, Jennifer? <laughs> All right, his word for shooting your load inside a woman. <laughs> was loading up the dishwasher. <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> Obviously, like you know, some some blokes call their woman the dishwasher because they do the washing up and all that. So he described coming inside a woman as loading up the dishwasher. <laughs> I thought it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> You're loading up the dishwasher, God. I mean, it's the sexiest as fuck, but it's funny. Come on. <laughs> Maybe not for you, Jennifer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Best Spanish lager. Oh. Is that what's available over here or just in general? I don't know. It definitely ain't magic because it ain't bloody Spanish. It's fake Tyson Fury looking, pretend to be Spanish a la Madrid beer that ain't Spanish. So if anyone says magic. 
it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, look, Michael knows that that's too funny. <laughs> Loading up the dishwasher. <laughs> He's just had a random short work. <laughs> he says, guys, what's the best word you can think of for coming inside a woman? He was like, you could have cream pie or whatever. He said, oh, you're not going to beat mine. He said, loading up the dishwasher. And it took me a few seconds. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just fucking cracked up. <laughs> Fake as his energy drinks. Tyson Fury. Oh, <laughs> Must admit, I'm looking forward to watching um, a Fury versus um, uh, what's his name, Usyk. I'm looking forward to that because that's when we're going to find out if Fury is a real deal. If he beats Usyk, we've got to start giving the guy some credit, you know, because he's beat Klitschko and he's beat uh, Wilder and all that. But when he beats people, all of a sudden they're no good anymore, is what he's saying. But Vladimir Klitschko was undefeated for donkey's years. And then when Fury beat him, everybody said he was finished. Uh, and then obviously everybody was like, oh, why does the hardest puncher in boxing? And Fury beat him and everybody said he's crap. He better get fit, yeah. But, I mean, I, I don't know where it's going to go. What do you guys think? Who's going to win, Usyk or Fury and why? Because I'm kind of... I've just got a feeling Fury's going to do him because I think Fury gets up for the big fights and he's much bigger than Usyk because Usyk moved up, didn't he, from um, like heavyweight. You're, I, I'm a Fury fan. Well, I should say I was, but I've gone off him a little bit lately. But I do like him with a whole... I think he's done a lot for men and mental health. I like that about him. But sometimes I question his reasoning behind it. You know what I mean? Is it, does he really care as much as he says? I don't know. But he's definitely entertaining, isn't he? Was wank last time out, even Josh flattened him. Yeah, I know. But then there's the argument uh, with Wilder. Did, did Fury just finish him off? Because Fury fought him three times and battered him, didn't he? So. Was that did Fury just end Wilder, and that's why I was so bad against Joshua? Or was Wilder never that good in the first place? But then he did knock like 49 people out in a row, or something amazing like that. So I could just say he's crap, although well, he didn't fight anyone particularly good. So it's, this is the fight we're going to find out because I mean, Usyk might go in there and make Fury look shite, but then it. You know, if Fury uses his size and his boxing that we think he's got, he could do the same thing. I mean, there's another way you can look at it. Uh, Fury battered Chisora three times, I think it was. Made him look very average in all three fights. Chisora went 12 rounds of Usyk. And a lot of people think Chisora won or very nearly won that fight. And, you know, Usyk fought Chisora. I mean... Fury fought Chisora recently and battered him. Ali D is in the house. Hey, there, Ali D, mate. Good to see you, bud. Uh, any more anal talk tonight? <laughs> Ali D was in the house last night as well. Um, we've had a little bit. It's not been quite so uh, anal as it was last night. I think we've got a lot of it. <laughs> A lot of it off my chest last night. Um, but just to just, just, just tell a joke that I think is hilarious anyway. And uh, Michael Slocum liked it. Jennifer thought it was all right. Uh, but Ali D, what's the best word you got? For, best name you got for coming inside a woman? All right? Best name you got for it? And uh, I'll tell you mine. What I've, I heard of some guy earlier on YouTube. You could use cream pie or just... What's the best if you've got any... The best word you got for coming inside a woman. I mean, I'll tell you what this guy said earlier that had me in stitches. Um, furry all day. He hits the body shot. Yeah, I think he's... Usyk's a bit prone to the body, isn't he? 
How are you tonight? Jade Paul. <laughs> Usyk can't take a body shot. There's weight limits for a reason. Good heavyweight beats a crude. I mean, yeah, but look at Joshua. He didn't beat Usyk twice, did he? But he did come close in the second fight. So Usyk's clearly no mug, is he? Or, you know, because, you know, Joshua... Joshua's looked quite good lately, hasn't he? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fury loves pies. To be fair, Usyk should have lost to Dubois. Fake the low blow. Yeah, that's... What about that one, mate? Yeah, he, um, that wasn't the low blow, was it? Josh ain't a good heavyweight, bro. Yeah, I know. I think the Joshua, when he first came about, it was completely fearless. It was a bit of an animal. But then once he lost to Ruiz, he's kind of lost that fire, didn't he? All right, here we go. AD says, come bucket, cream pie, custard filling, spunk cup. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what this guy called it, uh, AD. It is sexist. Um, if you don't like sexist jokes, cover your ear rolls. Um, but it's, it's only a joke. You know what I mean, females? Um, right. Firstly, obviously, you think women, for a joke, some guys call their women a dishwasher, didn't they? Because they do the washing up or whatever. He, he described that the best word for saying to come inside a woman is loading a dishwasher. <laughs> loading, a, loading a dishwasher. I thought it was brilliant. It took me a couple of seconds when he said it. I was like, huh? And then it just sort of clicked in my brain and I was in fucking stitches. <laughs> you don't wind up Mike Tyson about his dead daughter and I hope to get out of the ring that way. Mike Tyson... In all honesty, is it was an absolute animal, and I honestly believe that he would absolutely destroy anybody now the boxes now if he was in the same era, including Fury and Usyk, Joshua. A lot of them, I reckon, he would just walk straight through them and let, let them spark out of him two rounds. Because you ain't got the guys back then that were fighting. He fought in a generation with a lot of good boxers. I think he would probably unite a lot of them. He's just an animal. Well, yeah, what do you think about that one, Ellie? <laughs> Waste disposal unit. <laughs> Brutal. And that's coming from a girl. <laughs> fighting Jake Paul. I mean... I don't know what to think about that fight. Uh, am I going to watch it? Yeah. Do I think it's a load of bullshit? Probably. They're just doing it for the money. Probably a setup. I don't know. But surely he can't lose to Jake Paul. But he's he's a 50, he's going to be fifty seven or fifty eight when they fight. That's an old man, isn't it? And obviously, Jake Paul is not much of a boxer, is he? But he is a lot younger and faster. Well, I don't know if Tyson still looks really fast, to be honest. I think everybody wants to see Mike Tyson just get rid of him in about 10 seconds. And then Jake Paul is never to be seen again. That's what we all want. Hmm. What about the Benjamin? <laughs> Still harder than ours. He is. I mean, it's it's difficult to know, isn't it? And until you see the fight, obviously. But I mean, he fought Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition earlier. But you could tell Tyson was holding back and could have knocked him out. And that's Roy Jones Jr. 
who'd only been retired for a few years, and Tyson was retired for like 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I think, if he connects. I, I, if I was to put a bet on it, I'd bet for Tyson. I just can't see how you can not bet for him. I've just got a feeling he wouldn't. I mean, does he really need the money? Obviously, he's not got as money as much money as Jake Paul, but the amount of money is he must get paid for interviews and stuff like that. I just don't know if he's that desperate enough for the money to just go like, "Yeah, go on, you knock me out, Jake Paul. I'll get me twenty million quid or whatever." Happy days, who gives a shit? In my pocket, bosh. I don't know if he's the type of man that would just take that hand out. But I believe if Jake Paul wins, there's going to be a big part of me saying, yeah, he's, he's just, you know, done it for the money and let him win. It's like Rocky Five. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed, Logan Wanker. That's his brother, isn't it? 27 versus 57. It's about the money, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's a crazy age gap. But is it about the money or does Tyson? Well, of course, it's partly about the money. Of course, it is. But is Tyson just thinking this kid? Just bringing out these stupid bad Yenji drinks full of crap and all the kids are buying them. He's just some knobhead off YouTuber who thinks he's a wild. I'm just going to walk in there at 57 years old and just end this kid and just show everybody what he really is. But a lot of people thought the UFC fighters that he thought would beat him, and they didn't, did they? Didn't Tyson have the hardest punch in boxing? Like a lorry smashing into you. <laughs> that was oh, well, possibly, but, but I know they said that about Ngannou as well, didn't they? Am I lagging a bit? Oh, 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 oh. Let me close a few windows. Why am I lagging? Any virus? Am I lagging? <clears throat> My mate. Uh. Those the porn sites that <laughs> that's the thing we've got really good internet we've got like the top virgin internet but the kids are all like watching films and playing games There's so many people in the house um give me two minutes i want to kick a couple of them off them games because it's like half past ten What are you doing? Put these in the fridge. What are you doing? Sweet. Sweet. I'm going to. What are you putting in the fridge for? With mine. <laughs> you don't put sweets in the fridge, you know? Yeah, I do. Put them in the fridge. Hard. Hard, sorry, to me. Put the fish in it.
Not the fridge. Good night, darling. Good night. Hopefully. Yeah, gone there. That's sorted it out. Get in bed, you little fuckers. Not really. He's half ten. To be fair. Um, I'll get the next two beverages. What should I drink next after this Grand Reserva? Which is going down very nicely, by the way. I didn't realise, but I've got a proper job there. The new version, which hopefully is the same beer. Or oh, Love Lane Baltic Lager. I don't know, decisions, eh? Yes, you're lagging. Could be a little bit better now. Hopefully. Perhaps still slightly. Might have to do a reset. It's all them only fans of Chris. <laughs> what are you like, Jennifer? <laughs> Tyson first round. At best, maybe second. Otherwise, it's too much. Yeah, I would agree with that, uh, Bontez. I think Tyson's got to do it early if he's going to win. It's a real tight. If it was a real fight, yeah. I mean, if it was a real fight, not a boxing fight. Thing is, they, apparently they're using these really padded gloves and stuff like that. Is that going to take away his power? Adam has only fans at Jennifer. That topless video has really got him popular. <laughs> yeah, that topless bit about. <laughs> Get the man breasticles out. <clears throat> Thing with this grand reserva, it kind of goes down really easy for 5.9 percent. Hmm, it's nice. New ask cam next week <laughs> without only fans. I'm still lagging a bit, and I don't know. Hmm, no, I don't think I am. <laughs> Not massively, anyway. Is it better now, guys? Seen one of them on random beer bar. You don't really like IPAs. I mean, I think that's a cracker. You can pick up pretty much anywhere. But if you don't really like really hoppy beers, you're not going to like it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I really like that. As far as a beer that's available everywhere goes, it's very nice. And you get loads of bits in it as well, normally. We'll see whether there's any bits in this new version. <laughs> AD, have you drank all the gone off beers you got from that website? <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah, I, try, I decided not to review them, not because of anything to do with low cost beer. But I didn't want to sort of review a beer and say, oh, what a load of crap. When perhaps it was just crap because it was six months out of date. I didn't think it was fair. So I just decided just to drink them. Who does the Grand Reserve ad? Um, this one. Aldi's. It's £1.99 in Aldi's. It's a 660 mil bottle. And it's 5.9% ABV, so it's got, got a big uh, set of testicles, mate. Um, it's very nice. It's very, very nice. It's basically like their copy of Peroni Grand Reserva, but much better, in my opinion. It's a, it's a very nice lager, but it is strong. It is strong, and it's very easy drinking for how strong it is. Better. Only fans is where it's at. I've got to be honest, I've never even looked on Only Fans. I don't even know how it all works. I must have to go on there and get my tits out. See uh, see if I make some money. Now I can get my no worries in. I have like five perfect drafts on the go. How'd you get all them perfect drafts, mate? I've got me tits out on Only Fans. <laughs> belter, proper job. Love the stuff. It is an absolute belter. Absolute belter. No bells, no whistles, just an absolute quality beer. I got that from um, Aldi's as well. Is that the Peroni ripoff? Well, 
you've got Rossini LED, which is Rossini is a ripoff of Peroni. It's like Audi's ripoff version. Rossini is better than Peroni. Though I've done a beer battle before. For me, Rossini's easily better. And other people have agreed in the comments as well. So it's not just me. Um, and then this is because you can get Peroni Grand Reserva. This is their version of Peroni Grand Reserva, and it's also better than Peroni Grand Reserva. So Rossini all the way, and they're cheaper, a lot cheaper. I think the normal Rossini is one pound forty nine in uh, Aldi's, and they also sell Peroni, same size bottle, two pounds sixty nine or seventy nine. So that's over a quid cheaper, and it's a much better beer. So blows Peroni away, yeah. I'll pick it up next time you know this. Yeah, hopefully you'll agree with me, mate, and uh, let me know what you think when you try it. Um, but it's very nice. It's very, very nice. I'd be surprised if you didn't like it. Blah, 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 blah. The only trouble is when you're doing a long one, it's uh, not the most sessionable. <laughs> I've got a proper job next. That's five and a half percent. Yeah. Uh, after that one, I'll move down to some more sessionable beers. So I've got the um, Weinbacher. Weinbacher, four pack. And I've got two of these um, Love Lane Baltic Lagers. We tried that one, LED, in Home Bargains, pound nineteen. 4.6% lager. It's really good for one by 19, in my opinion. What is the name? What is the name of the stout from Aldi? Is it the coffee stout? If you're on about the coffee stout, the name is coffee stout. <laughs> nothing, nothing fancy there. Brody used to be decent. Yeah, it did used to be decent. I was, we were talking about that earlier, mate. Um, it was my go to beer when I was down in the Cardiff Bay in my uni days, yeah. And the funny thing is, with Peroni LED, we were talking about this earlier, they only knocked because it was 5 1, I think, and they made it down to 5. But that it just seems to completely ruin the beer, just that one zero point one percent. Why, why do it? Why do it? I mean. The pink pond is more lucrative. Don't get moobs out and do the pet shop voice camera. <laughs> I bet there's loads of filthy slags on this. Hey, come on, tits, boys. Give me 50 quid, you slags. I remember when uh, Magnus came out, there's going to be a limited cider, was classed as vintage and was really nice. And that's pish. <laughs> I mean, even ciders are not um, immune to being messed up, are they? Because, I mean, Strongbow, clue in the name, it used to be strong. And now it's not. It's four and a half percent now, isn't it? But a year or two ago, they just randomly made it four and a half percent instead of five percent. Peroni's bang average, I agree. Maguire's stout from Aldi. Has anyone tried it? Maguire's. I've not seen it, actually. I was in there today. I've not, not seen it. Tastes like ashtrays. Peroni does. <laughs> it's crap, isn't it? I've seen these better. Yeah, Strongbow is... Uh, I can't get on with it. Like, some, like in the summer, I was with a few people where they were drinking a strongbow. There's like, oh, yeah, Ad, it's, it's summer. That's why we're drinking a strongbow. I was like, really? It's crap. I mean, they use the excuse, yeah, it's 4.5% now because um, we've removed all the bad ingredients. 
Well, I say bring back the bad ingredients because it's fucking got a lot worse. It was never great to start with, was it? Used to have apples in it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, that's being kind. Yes, haven't been to Aldi's in a long time. Need a visit. That's just haze and taste. I'm going to have to try that. Somebody said that earlier as well. But I tried it. They need to do more ciders. I do like a cider. The only thing is I find them... Well, I like them, but if I was reviewing them, like, you know, if you picture it from my point of view, it's so I'll review uh, uh, apple cider. Try it. Yeah, it. Tastes like fucking apples, doesn't it? <laughs> No way. Apple cider tastes like fucking apples, mate. So it's a little bit like I feel like um sometimes I feel like I'm being a bit uh patronized or something, you know what I mean? Um yeah, this uh cherry cider um tastes like fucking cherries. So it's um harder, but I think the ones I have done, I've tried to say whether it's like a dry or sweet cider. Is it a tangy apple or a, you know, a dry apple? I mean, you do get lots of different apples, to be fair. And I suppose the more ciders I do, the more I'm going to learn to sort of pick up different things. Like some of them can even be a bit leafy and things like that. Adam, oh, Mr. B says, Adam Brewer Turbo Cider is so simple and you can do pretty much anything with flavours. Oh, that's a, that, that sounds lethal. A turbo cider. Sounds like a power your motor, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that cider is very easy to brew. They're great for a hot day, which is like three days in the UK. <laughs> three days a year. Especially now they're fecking with the weather constantly. I still feel like I'm lagging. You need to do more cocktails and wines to appeal to the dishwasher. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, you are bully. Sounds tasty. I'm not a fan of different flavoured ciders. Apple is the only one I like, and maybe pear cider once in a while. Yeah, because all the all the I don't like I don't like the massively sweet ones, you know, like the Copperbergs and all that. Oh, maybe I could tolerate one of them, but then I'm just like sugar overloaded. Out. Does anyone want to join for a chat tonight? Want to come and have a chat, Rob, or anyone? Uh, Jennifer Cross. <laughs> Jennifer's got a good sense of humor, isn't she? Try Inches Cider, way better than Strongbow. Yeah, I'll tr I've tried it. I can't remember what I thought of it, though. It's like a medium sort of cider, isn't it? I've had a few inches. I'll be getting a few inches when I'm without operation. <laughs> three feet, apparently. Three feet into the asshole. See, every everything reminds me of it now. Like I'm already scarred before I've even been violated. I'm already scarred. Yeah, Brothers, Kropperberg, all that Swedish one, yeah, gross, yeah. Brothers, I mean, I don't mind the toffee apple cider of Brothers, but I can only have one. And I think a lot of that is because um, toffee apples are kind of like a bit sentimental to me. So as that sounds, because... Uh, my nan and granddad were they used to have a top little toffee apple business. Uh where my my nan um she used to make the best toffee apples in town. And um she used to give them to my granddad. They used to go to the pub and sell the toffee apples in the pub because they used to be really, really popular. And um he would sell all these toffee apples, and then he would just end up standing in the pub all day and getting smashed, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Uh, yeah, they've been dead a long time now. 
but I hear stories about him all the time. Yeah, Brothers, Copperberg, and other Swedish ones. I've already read that. I just didn't click on it last time because I'm a knob. Uh, AD, you don't like cider until I started to taste cider in the West Country. Then I realised what cider is. I like the real dirty, funky stuff. It's got to be rough for me to enjoy it. Flies and all. <laughs> when, when they're preparing the apples for the cider, that's got a maggot in it, mate. Yeah, it'll add to the flavour. Well, better have that one. <laughs> AD, do you like pear cider? Baby sham. What the fuck, baby sham? Waiting for my kebab. Starving hungry. Go on, Ronald. What are you going for? Donna, chicken shish, lamb shish. Bit of a mix-up. Oh, you've mentioned kebab as well. And guess what? Now I'm thinking of food. Bastard. <laughs> um, got to plug my charger in. Again, reminding me. It's going to be something like that of a camera on it. Oh, I don't. On the old, there we go. We're in lagging again. Why am I lagging? Got a proper powerful laptop, and I'm lagging. Never mind. I think I'm going to go for the love lane. Same glass again. I've <laughs> had about four different beers in the same glass, types of beers. A little bit hazy. This is a nice beer for the price. One pound nineteen P four forty mils in home bargains. I like it. I do like it. Oh, uh, cheers, Adam. I'm doing the editing and a few reviews in between watching you, mate. I know what it's about. I don't do no editing anymore. I used to have like fancy intro and all that. Now I just switch the camera on, grab a beer, grab a glass, and bosh, go. If I say something wrong or whatever, it stays on. <laughs> just, just pure raw footage on the board end. On the ball, yep. On the Baltic Lager. Jennifer Cross, sentimental on pear cider. I used to nick it as an 11-year-old from the parents when working. Put that one in there. Yep. I took some of the empties out. The first, I was being all like decent taking the empties out. And the last three I've had, I've just been bothered to get them out of that way. Um... Chicken wrap, chili sauce, and a small pizza. Yeah, mate, it sounds like a munch. Is that chicken donna wrap or chicken shish? Sounds good. I love chili sauce. I'm not allowed. I'm not supposed to eat uh, chili stuff anymore. I can't help myself. You must be drunk if you're looking forward to a bad mate. It's Friday night. What was I have for dinner? Oh, what did I have? Oh, chili con carne. But it was a bit of a foul because I forgot to buy kidney beans. I put red pepper in it and an extra onion. And I put baked beans in it, but I emptied all the juice out because I, I cooked it from scratch, like, you know. But it actually, I thought it was really nice. But apparently, it was too spicy, according to the missus. Camera is going mental, Ad. I 
If I push the refresh button, will it? Let me try it. Are you all still here? I've just refreshed it. I thought it was going to kick you all out, and it actually didn't. And it seems to have done the job. Yeah. That's good to know, because I think if I'd have done that on YouTube, it would have all got booted out. Baby Sham and Guinness is a bit of fun. It's cheap black velvet. I'd try that. You prefer M footage? M footage? I will footage anyway. I don't like editing. I just. I mean, it's not I don't like it, editing. I just. It's a lot of extra effort to make a video and then uh, watch it and edit it and pick it and all that. Well, I see it. No one's perfect, are they? You know, sometimes the mistakes can be funny. You now, I could be doing a beer. It's happened a couple of times. I don't have anybody seen any of them, but I've done a review and I've let an absolute ripper go. And I, I could go back and I could edit it and I could, you know, make it sound like I didn't fart. But is it really necessary? We all fart, don't we? Or burp or whatever, but people do do that. They go back and oh, I burped. I've got to sort of edit that bit and edit it and mess about with it. Uh, not for me, really. The only editing I do, or if you can call it editing, is thumbnails. I just instead of messing about with the actual video, I leave that raw, and I prefer to spend a bit of time on the old thumbnail game. Chicken donna, mate. Nice. That can be nice if you get it from the kebab shop. It's all fun. And on a Friday night, it's Friday again. That's it, mate. Nah, fuck the editing. Hey, <laughs> Joffrey's in the house. How you doing, King Joffrey? Yeah, it's not for me. You did a video where you forgot to put a shirt on ads. These things happen <laughs> off the cuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you know, the funny thing about that is um, I was just going to do a cheap cider battle. The getting me tits out for it was never a part of the plan. Um, I forget what happened. Something happened. What was it? Something happened to my T-shirt. I don't know if I had like a sweat patch or whether I'd spilt some dinner down it. And I was like, oh, shit. And I took it off and I was going to put another T-shirt on. And then I thought, sitting there, staring at my man breasticles, looking back at me. And I thought, we can make it a 1K special. I've just hit 1K, or was it 2K special? 2K subscriber special. And it just sort of, it just happened like that. Get me tits out, sod it. You get emptied dishwasher too. Uh, I need filling up. <laughs> The kid puked on it. The kid, the kid puked on it. Oh, right, yeah. My memory's really bad. I do apologize. Yeah, that was it. Kid puked on it. And uh, I was going to change my top. And I thought, you know what? This is different. Let's show off the tits. You now, being a fat bloke as well, it's like nobody wants to see my tits. And that's why I've done it, I suppose. What are you all currently drinking now, people? I'm on the um, Baltic Lager from Home Bargains. Got nine people, 19 people in. Um, if you could, I've not asked for this. I don't normally ask this on the last, but if you could hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. It just helps the algorithm, apparently. If you don't want to, don't bother. But apparently it does help. Uh, and it's free. Just smash that like button. If you want to, 
and then we might get some new faces because YouTube will recommend it to more people. We might get some new faces to talk to. And if you don't want new faces, don't do it. <laughs> Classic TV will be as iconic as the chandelier theme and our new balls and horses. <laughs> Oh, that, that's a class episode, Danny, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Get your moves out for the girls. Yeah, get your tits out. Oh, don't. Your tits just keep getting bigger. Oh, once I've got my uh, health sorted, I'll get me a new steroid pump soon. And then once I've had the... Uh, once my asshole has been three feet violated in the hospital and all that, you know, a bit of a rough, rough time coming up. But after all that's done, hopefully I'll feel a bit better, and I might try and lose a bit of weight. And uh, once a week, every progress or something like that, because uh, I want to lose weight. It's not because of like confidence, nothing like that. Just because I'm just struggling, just to. Do simple things like tie my shoelace up and stuff like that. It's not fun. Uh, don't mention uh, uh, bastard. Nearly ad. <laughs> don't get me demonetized tonight. I don't know if I've been demonetized yet because I'm doing it on Streamyard. I can't tell. But I did last night. I probably have because I think I said it earlier. I didn't say that word, but I said the other one that begins with C and normally has a number after it. Uh, you can get the train, bro. <laughs> Stop them passing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe um, the next cheap side of battle I'll do, I'll do it in a sports bar. I might do it on a cold day as well, so you get a bit of nipple action. Eric Remikasin is in the house. How you doing, Eric? How you doing? Good, mate. Good to see you. Even though he's on the Volkus Engelman Blanc. I didn't like that one, personally. But I hope you like it more than I did, mate. It tasted, it reminded me of Pear Drops, I think, if I'm thinking of the right beer. I like Volkus Engelman, Voltus Engelman's Vice Beer, but I did not like the Blanc. It just tasted like it had too much artificial ingredients in it as well. Show for yourself. Oh, what? There won't be no nipple action going on. <laughs> Posh Eric, do you pay? Very pesh, Eric. It's not that pesh. It's just a Lithuanian. Um, it's not that posh if you're Lithuanian, I suppose. The Lithuanian like wheat beer sort of thing. I mean, it tastes like got a load of added stuff. But Cronenberg Blanc apparently has got a load of added stuff to it. I'm hoping Cron. I've not tried Cronenberg Blanc yet, but if it tastes anything like that, Volta Sengelman Blanc, I'm not gonna like it. Oh, still got that trap win, man. Not made up north of the wall yet. Mm. I'm on a dirty Guinness. I actually not had Guinness for a few weeks, you know. Yeah, I'm not. The thing is, it's starting to warm up a bit. I'm not having as, uh, not having as much Guinness. We got a Voltus. That sounds very post, doesn't it? Got a Voltus Peretius Imperial Porter. Hot, 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 hot. Blanc is run of the meal. Not tried it. Not tried it because they only sell it in big Tesco's. I don't shop there. 
since I started doing the club card uh, prices, I got oh, I fucked them off. I used to shop there. I just don't like the whole. I hate it. The club card because they're not club card prices. They're just the normal price, and if you ain't got the normal price, the norm, if you ain't got the club card, you don't get the normal price. You pay over the the normal price because they want to force you to get the card so they can steal your information. They can shit you know, up in their ass. Don't like that. Sainsbury's have started doing it as well. This is the thing. One supermarket gets away with filthy tactics, uh, and then everyone's thinking, oh, "We'll do that." And Sainsbury's have got their nectar card, which they've had before. But now nah, it's nectar card prices, which are the same. They're just a normal bloody price. Just instead of it saying special offer, it says nectar offer or nectar club card price. Load of bull crap just to steal your information. It really is. Bang average. Paul was defo over the top one blanc. Tasted much better back in the day. Probably my taste buds changed, or well, they've changed the recipe. Yeah, I mean, so I will review it at some stage. I'm just, I'm not really in a rush to do it. I'll probably try it when I go around his ass. I'm going to go around his ass in the next couple of weeks because um, he only lives up the road from me. That should be fun and very messy. I mean, I'm an Arsenal fan. Him and Michelle support Spurs. We all love beer. And he's got about five perfect draft machines in his house, which he said he's going to especially load up with great beers for me when I come over. It's going to get messy. <laughs> it's going to get messy. And no doubt I'll probably end up going live. <laughs> It'll probably get me singing angels with him or something by the end of the night. Imagine <laughs> Guinness is fun with uh, Jennifer says Guinness is fun with a drop of Tim Maria tastes like rum and raisin ice. Oh, I do like rum and raisin ice cream, Jennifer. I'm not really into me sweet stuff, but I do like rum and raisin ice cream. And if it tastes like that, you're making me want to try that. Carnage awaits Adam. You should probably book a taxi before you go. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. Jesus. Get me and pull together. <coughs> Although, it might not be that carnage. I don't know. Because I'm very, when it comes to meeting new people, I say I've got generalized anxiety disorder. It takes me a while to come out my shell. If I feel comfortable in that, I'll it'll probably just be like I am now. You'll know. If I'm not comfortable, I probably won't be saying much. And sometimes it just takes me a little bit longer to feel comfortable with certain people. And sometimes I'm comfortable straight away. I don't know how it'd be. But I can't help it. It's just how I am. I've got a feeling I'll be comfortable because we've been on lives together. We spoke to each other on Facebook. On you know, it's almost like we know each other. We just ain't met. Do you know what I mean? The Spurs fan be on suicide watch. I say, look, the next four games. <laughs> oh, Dan, it's not been a good week for an Arsenal fan either, is it? I start to remember what you said the other week, Ali D. When I was like, Arteta's done all right. He was like, what's he actually won? He's he's bottling it, didn't he? Starting to come a bit of a thing, isn't it? Yeah, if it's a bit sweet, it's probably not going to be for me. Does Bands Bike and Booze live near you, Ad? Yeah, he does. I think he's originally a Londoner like me. I'm originally from South East London. I think he's originally from East London. And he's moved to Kent to get out of London, same as I have. Um, but I don't know exactly where he lives. But hopefully one day 
I'm going to meet up for a beer. But I watched one of his videos a few months ago, and he was um, he was in a pub in Rochester, which is like a ten minute drive from me, called the Dead Pigeon. It's like a craft beer pub, and they do really banging burgers in there. And I was watching it, and I, was, I commented on his video. I was like, "Did you not get a burger?" He was like, "No, nah, but mate did," and he said it was the best burger he's had in his life. And I was like, "You can't go to Dead Pigeon and not have a burger, mate." Maybe I could say to maybe it could be a meeting point actually and next time we're getting to have a burger but i'd like to meet the guy because um try and absorb some of that knowledge he's got <laughs> it seems like a top guy so i reckon i'll get on with him even though he's like a proper like hardcore rocker sort of guy and i'm not into me rock like that you know I reckon I still get on, but like Simo's a bit like that as well, and I get on with Simo. So it uh, doesn't really mean anything what music you like, does it? Go for a couple of pints with me, both mashed up in the head. We'll have a laugh. <laughs> I'd love to go for some pints with some of you guys. I tell you, usual end of year thing, Arsenal, same story, different year, bored of it, bottle jobs, yeah. Worst thing is, I start believing. And that's the worst thing, and you start believing, and you just get let down every year. Is it really anxiety or sussing out the competition? Sussing out the competition? I don't get what you mean by that. I don't, I don't see... Uh, if you mean the weight might be, I don't see him as competition because the way I look at it, I mean, I get on with so many different beer review channels. I don't see any of them as competition because at the end of the day, we're all different. I think we're all different. Uh, there's people that are a lot more knowledgeable than me um, and certain people like that. Uh, I have a bit of a laugh on my channel. I don't take it too seriously. I'm a bit more sort of um, less serious about it, but I still try to take it seriously while I was having a laugh. Some people like that. Some people like uh, older people, younger people. Some people like hearing about the history of the breweries and all that, the bands, bike beer reviews, does all that sort of thing. Um, you know, I think everybody's got their own sort of way. And like me, for example, I, I do YouTube, but you could class other channels as competition, but I watch them. And if I class them as competition, I won't be watching them because I'm increasing their watch time and their views and all that. But I watch them because I like them. And I watched them before I started doing I've only been doing it about a year and a half. And then before I started doing beer reviews, I wanted to do it for a few years. It took me a couple of years to switch the camera on. But before I did it, I was like, you guys, I was watching joining lives, watching comp people's beer reviews. I was watching bands, bike and booze reviews. Um, I really always like Northern Southerner beer reviews. Um, I don't know why, because he's just like, he just don't give a shit. He just says it out. He's always liked him. Um, I rate my beer. I watched before I started as well. And then I've met loads of new channels that I didn't know about as well. I don't, I don't see it as competition for... For it to be competition, there has to be something to win at the end of it. And there ain't nothing to win. Because you don't make no money doing YouTube. You don't make money. My channel makes about 30 quid a month. Is it competition if someone's channel makes 40 or 50 quid a month and mine makes 30? If I really cared about that 30 quid a month, would I be reviewing beers probably what 60 to 70 quid's worth of beer a month and then getting 30 quid back? I don't do it for them reasons. There's no one's competition. I just do it because I like beer and I like the social side of it. And of course, I'd love to make money from it. Maybe one day I will make actually make a profit. <laughs> um, but I'll be happy if I just get to the stage where the beer pays for itself of the amount of money I make. Like if the review makes as much as the beer cost, 
I'll be happy because then it's free, isn't it? Free beer. They don't want free beer. Has a real pigeon in the burger. That's but I'd have a pigeon burger. No, it doesn't. It's just called a dead pigeon. It's a bit of a random name for a burger place. But they make really good burgers. Really good burgers. Advance on Brew Dog is a legendary. Love it. <laughs> he fucking hates them, doesn't he? He don't like craft beer in general, actually, does he? I noticed. Exactly. Get the odd ball bag in it. I mean, I get the whole competition thing with uh, certain YouTube channels, but I don't get it between beer channels. And if there is anything like that, then it probably is jealousy. And as far as I know, there's very few beer channels that actually do it as a living because they make any money from it, like enough to not work. And... um. Just don't get it. Narco 94. Evening, Adam. Sound they do, Narco. It's the same as a lot of you guys I see on here. When I'm watching Paul or Simo or a few other guys, I, I recognise you guys in their streams as well. We've all just got a common interest in beer. My son... Would you classify Brewdog as craft beer these days? More like Scummy Beer Company. To be honest, Ali D, yes and no. Generally, no, because it's all mass produced. But every now and again, they do small batch releases. Um, and I think that tends to be the better stuff. If it says on the can there's a small batch release, and, you know, they've put a bit more care into it because it's just a small release. It's not just pumped out there by the freaking millions of gallons to make as much money as possible and i feel like the small batch release stuff sometimes reminds you a bit of the brew dog of old every now and again you come across quite a good one but generally it's not craft beer no i wouldn't say it is they say unless it's a small batch release which most of them ain't it's not good is it hey jen I mean, craft beer for me is a beer that's not mass produced. Scum back and that makes nice stuff. Scum that, but scum back that makes nice stuff. Dennis is junk. Brewdog is mainstream as fuck nowadays. Yeah, exactly, Narco. It's just the mainstream, you know. Drinking something like Brewdog Loss is no different from drinking, you know, Cronenberg or Boston Pills or Foster's or Stella. You know, it's not really a craft lager, is it? Apart from it tastes a little bit fruity. Does that make it craft lager? I don't think it does. I don't mind it as as a lager this is a macro lager it's okay mm. All right, i'm gonna have a proper job what do you think of that beer guys any fans that's a classic for me and it's so easy to get so it's all the shops sell it even me tesco express sells it what's up Powerfully hopped IPA, 5.5% ABV, and normally you get, or well, some, some of them more than others, but you get loads of shit floating about in it. I love it. It says in the bottle to pour it carefully so you don't get it in the glass. Sod that. <sighs> These man breasticles want some hair on them. Let's get it in the glass. Let's give it a little twirl and see if we get all that crap. What crap? It's lovely. It gives it more flavour. Because obviously it's a new design on the bottle now. 
Uh, looks like the same proper job to me. Oh, have a look at that. See all that? Crap floating around in the beer. Lovely. Yeasty goodness. You can literally feel the hair growing on your tits as you drink it. Lovely beer. Superb. Love it. I refuse to buy anything from them unless I'm giving giving it to me to drink. I wouldn't choose it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't choose it. Probably notice I don't do much brew dog stuff, and the stuff I do do is normally either like heavily discounted or in home bargains or something. Visit home bargains. Sometimes it can be more worth it if you're getting it really cheap. Brew dog makes some good stuff. Just hate the mark in bullshit. They normally won't try it. <laughs> Is it a very hoppy IPA ad? I'm not too keen on the overly hoppy, strong, piney ones. What? A uh, proper job. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, mate. It is a very hoppy. Oh, it says on the bottle, look, powerfully hot. And it's not lying, to be fair. It is not lying. But I know what you mean. You get some where they're really hoppy and it gets a bit much. But this one doesn't for me. It's just not quite over that limit of being too much. It's nice. I enjoy it. But it's not saying car session. I'll have a couple of them. And then it starts, the hops kind of build a bit on the palate. And then, yeah, so I'll just have a couple of them. That says on the bottle here, it says, um, Masterly Blued, Brewed, Blued, Brewed, with heartfelt craft, packed full of vibrant citrus. You get that grapefruit, pineapple. I don't get no pineapple. Balanced with a crisp, bitter finish. It's very bitter. It is very bitter and it is very crisp. Well, not very crisp, but it's slightly crisp. There's a bit of a dryness to it. But yeah, one thing, it's bottle conditioned as well. And that, that makes all the difference to me. Bottle con it's a bottle conditioned IPA. And that's what all that stuff floating about you can see in the beer is. That's because of the bottle conditioning. That's still brewing into the second year opening. I think it's a great beer. But it's not going to be for everyone. But 100% for the sake of about £1.70 it costs. Well worth a try. Yep, the new proper job label. Luckily, it still tastes the same as me. I think it is just a, a rebranding. Not sure if I prefer it. I think I prefer the old one. What, what do you think, guys? I don't know. I like the old bottle personally. Um, but it seems like it's the same beer. So most just the ABV is the same, 5.5. Because as soon as I see the new bottle, I thought, oh. Let's check the ABV straight away because you think that you know, I mean, look what happened with Cronenberg recently. You think new bottle equals new ingredients, but it's, it seems to taste the same. I mean, you just put them up against each other, I suppose. It's certainly got all the uh, yeast floating about as normal. I think it's the same. I don't think they'll mess about a proper job. It's very popular. And a proper job IPA, nice bitterness. Yeah, very nice bitterness. If you like a nice bitterness, it'll be a bit of you. It's got lovely head. Who doesn't love a bit of lovely head, eh? Going down too easy, though, I'll tell you that. Anxiety or cautiously interacting. Natural human trait. Don't over diagnose. Cheers, mate. No, I, I uh I know what you're saying there, Jeff. 
I'm not over diagnosing. I, I do have a condition called generalized anxiety disorder, and it took them years to um to find that out. Um, but it's normal for me now. I've learned to deal with it. It doesn't affect me like it used to. It used to be absolutely brutal. I wouldn't leave the house or anything. You just, I don't think you, it ever goes. You just learn. You learn how to deal with it better. And it takes a long time to realize and understand it yourself. Dush, I'm back in, I'm back. Being a Tesco. What'd you get from Tesco, Jamie? Beer? Brew not to, isn't it? So we should be talking beer and my own anxiety, perhaps. No, you're good, mate. With I'll to be honest, a lot of people watching that have mental health problems. And men tend to not talk about them. So it's definitely something I'm not I'm not worried about talking about. Uh it's good for men to talk about stuff like that, you know, anxiety, things like that, uh, because a lot of people suffer in silence, don't they? And I hate that. And I used to for years. In fact, it's only when I started speaking up and not really giving a shit what people thought and just saying, yeah, I've got generalised anxiety disorder. Some people don't understand it. And they'll say stuff like, oh, you know, just man up and all that. They don't understand it, fair enough. But unless you talk about it, what chance have they ever got of understanding it? And it's, when you don't talk about it, it believe me, it's a hundred times worse and it will take over you as a person if you let it. It really will. you just got to be honest and talk. That's my way of dealing with it. Fuck what people think. Get the new Cronenberg 1664, 18 cans, 17 quid. You twat. What'd you buy that for? It ain't going to be better, Jamie. It's going to be shit. 18 cans for 17 quid. It's not even good. You might as well have got, was it 18 cans of Stella for 12 quid in Aldi in a minute? 4.6%. So it's going to be the same sort of crap as that. I will try it at some point. Maybe it is good. I doubt it, though. Can't say too much till I've tried it, though, can I? Have you done a review of Adnan's Goshi Bad? Underrated beer. I find the cans taste better than the bottles. I haven't, actually, Ali. Ali, D, recognize? Uh, it's one of them ones. I've not done it, but I keep thinking I've done it. I just need to look at it one day and remember I've not done it. Because I've tried it. I've had it lots of times. I've just never reviewed it. Because I've had it lots of times, I always think that I've reviewed it. It's very annoying. <laughs> but I do want to do it. Because I, I agree. It's a very nice beer. Please, what is? It's so hard for men to talk. I've been in some shit this year. A wedding, but I'll move on. Yeah, it is hard to talk, Jamie, and you've done well for talking about it. It's not easy. And um, in a way, it was nice that you felt that you could talk to me about that when you went through that, mate. And I hope we helped you because it's not a nice thing we went through. But sometimes just talking about it and sharing it just makes it a little bit easier. Mate, it's so nice. What, the new Cronenberg? Really? No way. You like it, Jamie? But did you, did you, have you compared it to the old one? or? Uh, Mr. Ronald, so I've been on this trailer plan for two years now. Two months now, sorry. Took the edge right off my anxiety. Should have gone on them years ago, Adam. Yeah. I remember talking to you about it before, Ronald. It, sometimes it gets a little bit worse before it gets better for some people. Not everyone. But the medication does help. But for me, it comes with its problems as well. Because, I mean, do you know how many freaking tablets I take? It's ridiculous. 
I've got like a whole cocktail. I get confused about what I've taken and what I mean. I've got anxiety tablets. I've got ones for my heart, blood pressure, high cholesterol, antipsychotics, sleeping tablets. Uh, the literally, I don't even forget half of them. And there's like some of them I have to take multiple times a day. Um, it just gets confusing, but they they all serve a purpose, I suppose. Um. The one thing I don't like personally about anxiety tablets, citalopram is kind of more depression slash anxiety kind of, I've, I've had that before and it worked for me for a few years and then I had to change over to something else because the problem is you might find, Ronald, after a while your body gets used to it and it, it slowly starts being less effective if you find you go through that, Ronald, I would recommend you try a different tablet. It'll pretty much be a similar thing, but different enough for your body not to be use it, and all of a sudden it'll start helping you again. Uh, that's one journey I've been on as well with my anxieties. There's so many different tablets out there, and for me, it's a pattern. If After a few years, I'll get stable. I'm quite stable at the minute. And after a few years, the tablet stops working. And I have to change over to something else. And then I go through the whole stage again of I'm going to be shit for a couple of months until I get used to it. And then gradually I start getting better again. And a few years later, it stopped working. Time to move on to another one. But once you've gone through so many, you can actually start going back to ones like soon I could probably go back to Tralibram again because it's been a long time since I had that one that it might be more effective now. It's... Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess up. But the thing I don't like about it is the one I'm on at the minute, and I'm on any psychotics and stuff like that, and they help with the anxiety. Fantastic, but I just sometimes just feel like I just don't give a shit about anything, and it's horrible. Like even like my own family and stuff like that. Of course, I love them, and I know that I love them. But sometimes I just feel like I don't give a shit, and that's the tablets and. Of course, that's making me less anxious because I don't give a fuck about anything in one way. But then sometimes you feel like you want to give more of a fuck, but you don't, if that makes sense. Uh, it's, um, it's it's a difficult thing. You know, they they help, but they have their, their negatives as well. Um, been on some shit this year. I see something at a wedding. Yeah. It's the best Corona bro. It's a lot better than the old one. Maybe I need to try it. Better than water, I guess, but it's not for me. But any day, I find it hard to talk about my 18 inch long trying to find trousers and boxes. It is so hard. <laughs> the scaffolding to hold it up. You're definitely not lying when you say you're going to drain your anaconda. <laughs> LED just become fake jock of <laughs> can you tell what happened at the wedding? People don't think I'm telling the truth. Oh. I probably won't be able to tell it as good as you could because obviously um, I've got memory problems and stuff like that, but pretty much um, this may not be exactly as it happened, but from what I can remember, um, a few weeks back, Jamie went to a, a wedding and he caught his missus having it off with his brother. And he actually went to his brother's wedding, I think it was. Uh, and he caught his uh, brother with, he had his, his brother had his missus bent over. He walked in on the, his brother giving it to his missus. Um, yeah. So you can imagine what the poor guy has been through. I mean, how could your own brother do that to you? Imagine walking on your own brother, bollocks deep inside your missus. 
I mean, it's brutal. And then he came on the live. This was a few weeks back. And when I was chatting to him, and then his missus turned up at the house later that night, <laughs> asking for half of the house or something, and he told her to fuck off and sold her car or something like that. It's, there's a lot more details to it that only Jamie can tell because it's obviously Jamie's story. But yeah, poor guy, man. Poor guy. But we was all there for Jamie when he went through that. That's just mad. Unthinkable. Yeah, I'm worried it will wear off. We're okay for now. Don't worry about things anymore. Still get a bit anxious. But yeah, yeah, it just takes the edge off it, doesn't it, Ronald? It just takes the edge off it enough where it doesn't affect you as much. Um, to be fair, it's normally a good few years, Ronald. And by then, you might not even need them anyway. Um, that's what they was kind of hoping for me when I because that's the first one I started on was a Citralopram. It's only after a while they realized that I didn't just have anxiety because I was going through a bad period in my life. I actually because I, I had therapy and stuff like that, and they actually realized that I generalized anxiety disorder, which is just my brain just works differently from other people's. It's um, just wired differently in the sense. Mass, uh, and uh, there's no cure for it. It's just is what it is. You just learn to deal with it better. I walk in doing my ex and brother doing it at the wedding. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable, mate. Unless you're Ryan Giggs. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The Ryan Giggs uh, sorted out his brother's missus as well, didn't he? In arsehole, mate. Tell me what I'm fucking ill, mate. Who needs enemies when you have a brother like yours? Another Ryan gigs. Yeah, I mean, that's... But obviously, Jamie was devastated that night. But he come on, he had a chat with us and that. And we helped him. And it was nice, you know, that we can be there for each other and talk about... That must have been hard for him to just come online and just say, look... You wouldn't believe the day I've had. I've just caught my brother shagging me missus and even went into detail. But that helps. I mean, Jamie's doing better now. He's going on a date. The fact that he spoke about it helps. If he'd have kept that to himself, that would have completely fucked him over. So as hard as it is to talk about, it could even be embarrassing. But it's the way to do it. That's the best advice I would give the people is talk. Just talk. She come back asking for half the home, but I told her to fuck off, and the next day I sold her car. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> oh, mate. That's, that was the maddest live stream ever. I just... And so Jamie was actually on the live as a guest and telling us all about it, and his missus turn up, put his house live on the on the um, show to quit his show on the stream. That's the one. I know family made a joke. I was so pissed off that night. I tell you everything same night. Got so pissed best night at all. <laughs> He's saying it's a good thing. I'll go for a piss myself. Back in a sec.
better. Just a quick reminder, guys, if you're enjoying the live, and uh, smash the like button. Uh, just help the old algorithm out. I'm not going to Simon on you. I'm not going to beg for it. But it does help out the channel. And the best way to help the channel for free. Uh, fair play. Calm as anything. That needs a bucket. Oh, once you've had that first piss, that's it. It's game over. If drink a beer and then piss it out in the toilet, literally. Uh, good work, mate. Jamie Wharton. Yeah. A mini fridge behind him. <laughs> I need a commode in a mini fridge, you know, a little mini fridge here. Or there. Hey, driver. And a commode. They can listen to me piss. I'll move on. I've got a date tomorrow. Going for a drink and then watching Blades versus Burnley at the lane. Going for more. It sounds like good. I mean, She's into football as well, mate. Can't be back in it. Hope you put chili seeds in a knickers, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. Ring of fire, fanny of fire. I've got a motherfucking fanny of fire. What you know, it's a ring of fire. I want to say big thanks you to everyone. No worries, Jamie. Well, if you, mate. I mean, every week on these lives, we get the same people tuning in. And we're all like digital friends. It's really nice. I really missed it when I was on holiday and I couldn't do it last week. I was like, oh, really missed it. It's nice just to... Just a talk, isn't it? And, you know, you get one person share a problem and then sometimes that can make other people that have got problems start speaking up about their problems as well. And then sometimes it gets a bit depressing. We're all, a bit depressing. We're all talking about our problems, but we're all there for each other. You know, we've all got problems. Some more than, some more than others in that particular moment. But everybody's got to have problems in life. People will go through bad things. We see loved ones die, you know, missus fucking them over, or boyfriends fucking them over, you know, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. Most people go through these sort of things at some point. And if you don't talk about it, it can take over you. And I've known people personally that have committed suicide and stuff like that, which is why I'm so pro talk, you know, talk about your problems. Don't be embarrassed. Just stick one up the pipes. What? Just stick one. <laughs> what, what, hey, what? <laughs> stick one of the pipes up your Jap's eye, and then you can piss into the bag. <laughs> oh no! I mean, I'm worried about having that camera shoved up my rectum, let alone up my Jap's eye. I mean, it could be worse. Do you know what I mean? I was talking about it last night as well. Imagine having a camera up your Jap's eye. And I shouldn't say that word either because some people think that's it's racist. Click the like button. This dude is worth it. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it, mate. Of course, you don't have to. I'm not, full, I'm not begging for it. But apparently it helps. I don't know if it does, but people say it helps. And uh, it makes me feel pretty. Uh, Jennifer, more the chilli seeds than the knickers tomorrow night. I <laughs> hope. Jamie just wants to get some fanny tomorrow. <laughs> Jamie Morton, no need to thank us, mate. We're all just toss pots. Yeah, I mean, we'll wind each other up, take the piss out of each other. But when shit gets real, we uh, look out for each other. I love that. You're all right in your skirt, Ellie. No zip to pull down. <laughs> Like done, mate. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. LED. <laughs> we'll see if it actually makes a difference. We've got 16 people in a minute. 
We'll see if any more people join. I don't know. I've, I've, I don't know the, how the YouTube algorithm works. I don't think it's just likes. I think it's about how many people are watching, how long they've been watching, what country you're from, what other people are online. There's so much stuff that goes into it. I don't think there's any one particular thing that helps. Google dogging. Oh, docking. Oh, that's, that's a different. Uh, was it you who was talking about post and Pat dogging the other week? Post and Pat's a dogger. All right. Google docking. Is this going to be some mad, like, um, what was that thing I watched before? Two girls, one cup, and they're like shitting in cups and eating it. Um, Docked, dock. Oh, docking. Are it docked? Docking. What is docking? Oh, Urban Dictionary. It's one of them. One of them ones here. Yeah. Right, let's read this out. Then I've said, Google docking. A very intimate and intense sexual act performed by two uncircumcised men. Guy one pulls his foreskin back and holds it while guy two stretches it open. What am I reading? And outward as far as possible over the head of the shaft of the guy's one's penis. Jennifer. Then one guy repeats the procedure as he's releasing all the foreskin that he was holding back tightly, pulling the op oh, pulling the opening out as far down as possible over Guy 2's penis, making sure Guy 2's foreskin stays in place when complete both cock heads are touching, tip to tip encased, inside of each other's foreskins, the dual coverage combined with the moist juices starting to flow from each of them, Creates a suction effect somewhat similar to flashlight, helping to hold everything in place while jacking both penises at once. An effect much like those Chinese finger handcuffs, allowing quite a bit of masturbating action while easily standing inside of each other. The sensation is so intense that both guys will quite often ejaculate simultaneously. Visually filling the foreskin, cooping with so much cum, you can see it swell to the point of overflow. What the fuck, Jennifer? Slowly uncoopling the foreskins and savouring the warm, wet sensations, working their still hard penises together with their intermingled juices. Example. Keanu and Harry were so so overwhelmed by the intensely intimate feeling of docking their penises inside of each other's foreskins that they instinctively began to kiss each other deeply as Keanu worked their cocks together as one, both exploding huge loads, seeing their foreskins swell like water balloons, trying to hold all of the hot juices, hot man juices, as he released their cockheads from one another he grabbed harry's firm ass what what am i reading can i help mr run away cheers bud. thanks for that then what where do you find me well i've seen a few on them um, urban dictionary alabama Alabama hot pocket. Look that one up. I think it's um, you. Sh you uh, you open up a girl's fanny, you shit inside it, and then you shag it. Are you in the mood for an Alabama hot pocket, Jennifer? <laughs> what the fuck? There's some weird people out there, isn't there? Um, 
Went to my local foreign supermarket earlier, Adam. I thought they stopped selling dab. It turns out they just out of stock. Picked up four or five hundred mil cans. What a nice one, mate. I love dab. Let's hope he doesn't fill the dishwasher and covers Mr. Lovell. <laughs> He'll be filling the dishwasher. No more asshole and reminders of bad stuff that happened to Jamie, okay? YouTube algorithm equals whatever creator gives YouTube the most money, yeah. That's what I think. Have you guys seen the milk on YouTube? They do comedy skits and it's childish, but I find it hilarious. The one on these standards is crazy. I've not seen it, Ali D. Check it out, giggling at your face. <laughs> you fucking Jenny, he knew. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think, to be honest with you, I'm quite glad. You know, I did mention earlier, if you've been around that long, people, some of you might have, about how I can read, but it doesn't go into my brain when it's more than a short sentence, like a little paragraph or saying, after that, I'm just reading words. And from the first sort of paragraph, what I read, which did kind of somewhat register, after that, it kind of went black, blank. So I think being dyslexic it does have its advantages because a lot of that didn't really register. I just remember the odd word. And I'm quite, quite glad about that. <laughs> the gay fan version, <laughs> Jesus. Instead of 4.6, is the worst lager on the market. No, nah, it's not. Uh, it's not the worst. I don't think it's the worst. But it's just really bad compared to what it used to be. Carlin is worse. To me. Carlin's definitely worse. It's... What else? Cruz Campo is probably worse as well. For me, personally. Um... Moretti. Moretti's worse. I'd rather drink that crap Stella than Moretti. So it's, it's just bad compared to what it was. But it ain't the worst. I'm glad I finished eating food. I won't puke now. <laughs> that was disgusting, wasn't it? And to think it was Jennifer that sent that. There's loads of lads in here and all that. And there's a couple of just a couple of ladies, and you got filth like that. That the ladies are making me read out, and they say that we're dirty minded and we're only after one thing and all that. Women are worse than men. That just proves Jennifer just proved that women are more dirty minded than men. Jennifer, you absolute animal. <laughs> Talk about having a skin ball. <laughs> I mean, like I say, some of it didn't register, and I, I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy some of that didn't register. <laughs> Can we talk about something else now? I feel sick. I mean, last night was bad, talking about arseholes and all that. And I think Jennifer's just topped it there. Quite an achievement, considering last night we were talking about up the arse and round the corner operations and stuff. Skippy piss. Adam, beer Maruti or Carlin. Oh, that would make that ultimate beer battle, wouldn't it? I mean, it's been a long time since I had Carlin. I just remember absolutely hating it. I say that was before the, I even done the beer reviews and that. Moretti I've had more recently and it was really bad, but is it Carlin bad? I'm going to have to put them together and I'm going to have to my two worst lagers beer bow. <laughs> I mean, maybe where Carlin's weaker, it might be slightly less astringent, arsehole -y. I don't know. Maybe not. Hmm, back on track. 
drinking a hacker small canopy of your folks. <laughs> Uh, Jeff, uh, hackers for jelly of uh, uh, canopy. Have I had the canopy? I don't know, I might have had it. I'm not sure if I've had it. If I have, I've got to be honest, I can't remember. I've had quite a few beers from hackers for, and they're top notch. And I have had some Keller beers, I just don't know if I've had, if I've had that one. And if I have, uh, if I have it, I probably loved it. Because he's German, and I seem to like most of the German stuff. There was no girls allowed. No, actually, there is Jennifer. Where do you find this stuff, Jennifer? What did you Google to, to find that? Did you Google, like, penis, penetrating a Jap or something? Like, how do you find stuff like that? Carlin versus Cause Light. Fuck me, what a crap. Oh. Carlin versus Cause Light. From memory, I'd say I'd say Carlin's worse at them two, but I don't know. And two put them up against each other. I don't know, because Cause is just shit because it do not taste like fuck all. Whereas Carlin is shit because it tastes horrible. From memory. Got a message for the doctors. I don't want to go. What what message do you get from the doctors, Jamie? What's that about, mate? Foster's or Carlsberg, Adam? Or oh, Foster's? I'll pick Foster. I'd rather have Foster's. I haven't Googled <laughs> I haven't Googled pegging Jennifer, but I know what it is. Let's just say um a lonely night in on uh Horn Hub one evening. I randomly stumbled across it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> People are gonna be Googling and pegging there. Don't do it. <laughs> don't don't do it. Well, do do it, but don't blame me. Blame Jennifer. Narco ninety four. I'll take Skippy's piss from them too. <laughs> yeah, I'll take Skippy's piss. Although that's just been lowered as well, isn't it? Carlsberg. Carlsberg's three point four percent there. Three point four percent lager. I mean. Foster's went from four to three point seven, which is bad. But Carlsberg went from I think it was three point eight to three point four. So they've just full on full fuck the lotia. We want to get in that tax bracket. We don't give a shit. We want to make loads of money. Most of you bastards won't even notice a difference because you're drinking Carlsberg to start with. No, bodjum, bodjum, bodjum. Fuck on doctors wants to see me. Fuck on doctors wants to see me. Why does the doctor want to see you? Jennifer Cross Cottage. I've not heard of that one. Dread to think. No one Googles that stuff, lol. Only you, Jennifer. <laughs> what skiff is this? Fosters, isn't it? <laughs> it's a Australian, well, for the UK in it, but it's an Australian lager. Skippy piss. I have a pint of skippy piss, mate. And have a shrimp on the barbie. Golden shower. Things people do, eh? My ex love it in the parks back in the days. What, golden showers or just being shagged in the park? Shredded them or shredded... Oh, I don't know. I couldn't say I've had them enough time or to, to know. Golden. Did you think what that link is? 
<laughs> Nerve or perv? Hey, that's a video I was on about. Do for this fact, but there is to me. Oh, hopefully I can hit the link. I won't click the link and I can't highlight the link. And I'm still right. Oh, sorry. God damn myself. Yummy. Look at that. Ugh. Now them steroids have worn off. I'm coughing up shit again. I see I ain't got my pump. I thought I was going to get it today. I think it's going to come tomorrow. Another Baltic lager. I've still got all the old floaters from the proper job, look. <laughs> it's going to be an extra hoppy lager now. Look at that. Oh, well. All goes down the same old, doesn't it? After a while, you stop caring. I've still got loads of yeast. <laughs> loads of yeast in this beer. That's what proper job does. This ain't proper job, but it looks like it. Look. It's even hazy. Look at all that yeast. My lager. Because all the yeast settled at the bottom eventually on the proper job. And as I poured that lager in, it's reawakened the yeast. Um, this is going to be interesting. It still tastes a little bit like proper job. <laughs> it's just like it's like a Baltic lager with a hint of proper job about it. San Miguel or Madri? Oh, God. UK brewed San Miguel. I'll take it. You're talking about the crap we got over here. Oh. San Miguel or Madri? They're both really not good, are they? I'll go for San Miguel because it's 5% and it's not pretending to be Spanish. It's just Spanish but brewed in the UK. Does that make sense? Although San Miguel is actually originally not even Spanish, it's from the Philippines. If you know, you know. It's actually from the Philippines. Uh, I can remember me and my ex was doing it in the summer of 2023. It's turned into like, uh, it's getting very sexual tonight, isn't it? Uh, the cops walks up to us and then tell us, have a nice time. <laughs> Fair play. No, it's not a Swedish penis and larger. Oh, I've got all goddamn me still. Hey, sorry guys, you're gonna have to part with that. It's really bringing attraction to me, man breasts, isn't it? Um, <laughs> no, not a Swedish penis and larger. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm fucking on about, Jennifer, you little troll. <laughs> <laughs> me steroid, that's my pump. Park. No way, Jamie. <laughs> Cops come up to me and went, Go on, my son, give her one for me. Load up that dishwasher. Get that dishwasher fully loaded. And we go, I can't stand Madri. <laughs> rough here. Yeah, I, I, just San Miguel. And the hell's old Bex. Oh, God. What, the new Bex, the 4 If you're talking about the 4.8 proper Bex, Bex all day long. If you're talking about the four percent Bex now, I'd probably still pick that. 
because I really don't like Camden Mills. Absolutely hate it. And Bex don't taste like nothing, but I'd rather taste nothing than that crap. Mahu or Victoria Maniga? That's quite a close one. I'd say that's pretty close. But if I had to pick, I'd probably go for the Mahu. Just. But they're very close. It could go either way. Bex, Candom Hills is rough. Yeah, I picked Bex. Even the even the four percent Bex. <laughs> Um, just because I'd rather nothing than that crowd. I, I, I hate Candom Hills. I gave that a 2 out of 10 when I reviewed it. I've got so many fanboys of Candom Hills. How could you give it a 2 in the comments? But that's just what I think of it. I think it's shit. Wet t-shirt competition. No, it's not a wet t-shirt. I coughed up a load of snot. The snotty t-shirt competition. <laughs> Gone to sex life. <laughs> uh, just enjoying an English lager from Rutapian, followed by a lager from Cloudwater. English brewers can brew lager, yeah. They can. Um, but none of it's like mainstream stuff, is it? And there's no good mainstream ones. It's like you want to pay a lot of money in the craft beer scene for the price you're paying. I would hope they could brew a fucking good lager. Do you know what I mean, Bob? It's just same you can't just walk in your supermarket and buy that sort of thing for a reasonable price. But absolutely, they can. They can do it. But the ones that actually care about their beer can do it. The ones that are just trying to make as much profit as possible they don't care what the beer tastes like, do they? as long as people are buying it. You have to do a topless live of now, Ed. Titties out. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't encourage me. <laughs> I'm actually feeling a bit more self-conscious tonight. Otherwise, I probably would get me tits out for years. So, um, I think, you know, like, I'm already fat. But, you know, when you've got trapped wind, it makes you feel about twice the size you actually are. I've had it for the last few days. I'm feeling proper bloated. And, uh, you know, this ain't only fans. I'm not going to get me tits out for what? To look like a twat. I was getting millions of pans like them lot do. Some of them, anyway. Of course I'd get me tits out. Bex was lush on draft in the 90s. Bex used to be a banger. I used to have a nice bite to it. And then they just removed everything good about it. And now it's crap. The 4% one. Have you not tried it, Jennifer? The Bex is 4% now. And it's not good. C's or double D's? Double D's. <laughs> you know what? I've not actually had Chang, but my brothers went to Thailand and they were drinking Chang and they thought it was really nice. So I go, I can't, can I really say Chang if I've not had it? I can't, I can't really do that one because I've not had Chang. But I want to have Chang, but I've not been able to get hold of it in the UK. D's. Even Jenny knows she wants them big bellies. Uh, I agree, Adam. Cannon Hills is fucking shy. Yeah, it's crap. I've, I tried it on the bottle and I even gave it a chance on tap. But maybe it's just one of them beers you've got to have it on tap. And um, I had it on tap at my cousin's wedding. And let's just say I didn't go in for a second point. Uh, it was Camden Hills or Foster's. And I went for the Foster's on the second point. That's how much I don't like it. Each your own if you like candy mails for enough 44 double D's every day. <laughs> Breasticles. Budweiser or Prava?
I don't think I've had Prava. I can't do that one either. But I'll say Prava. Because um, Budweiser's shit. Um, <laughs> I'll gamble and go for that. Uh, the other one. <laughs> My ex had 32 double D's best hits ever long. <laughs> Lovely Ellie. I don't want to know. Uh, I'll be careful. I start talking about me. I don't think we miss it like that if she watches it back. Uh, it's the only thing I miss about her. <laughs> <laughs> You definitely got her for a personality then, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> you soppy tit wank. <laughs> oh, soap, soapy. Soapy or so soapy tit wank, lol. <laughs> Chang was great back in 2012. They changed it to green bottles recently. I have no idea if it's good. I think when they went to Thailand, they were drinking massive, like, litre cans of it. Never had that, Jen. Sounds good, though. Soapy titwank. Didn't need to be soapy sometimes. <laughs> if it's brewed by Star of I'm definitely glad I went for that one, mate. I've just had a tip wank. Oh, that's that press, isn't it? I love style problem. I think <laughs> when I first tried that, when I first reviewed it, I think I butchered the pronunciation of it. Obviously, I know it now, style problem. I think I called it Strapperman, <laughs> Strapperman, I'm saying. They're like bloody strap on, doesn't it? It's very, very sexual tonight, isn't it? Very, very sexual beings. <clears throat> they're not tits, they're moobs. Okay, that hurt my feelings, Jennifer. <laughs> Fucking hell, I've gone seven cans already. <laughs> Jamie's a monster. Jamie's the real beer monster. Don't know how many I've had. Uh, I've had one, two, three, four, five. And there's another two or three that I put in the bin earlier. So I think I think this is like number eight or something. Ah, one ahead of you, Jamie. You slag. James Morgan's in the house. How you doing, James? Good to see you, mate. Appreciate you joining the um stream. Cheers. Oh, I was researching uh fierce. Beer from Scotland. Any recommendations? I'm filling it. Um, what? Filling it up to get free shipping. Oh, uh, um, fierce beer from Scotland. I can't help you there, mate. I don't know what you mean by fierce beer. Is that the name of the brewery? Or I was having big brown bottles of it. The alcohol in them could vary as it was. Wasn't standardized. Great fun. Asahi or Cronenberg? Cro uh, Asahi. Asahi. But I've not tried the 5.5% French proper Cronenberg. But we're talking about the Cronenberg now and the 4.6 one. I'll have the Asahi. Thank you. Personally. Mate, you need to try it. Cronenberg is so nice. I don't believe you, Jamie. I will try it. I will try it, though. But I don't want to buy a, a crate of it. I want to buy like an individual can or maybe a four pack. 
I just don't want to buy a crate of it in case I don't like it. Money's a little bit tight, I'm not going to lie. I mean, money is definitely tight. That's why I'm always in own bargains doing their beers. As um, The food, the price of the food and having five kids, they're all growing and eating so much bloody food. It's, it's a bit of a struggle at the minute. Uh, Cronenberg's been watered down now, Jamie. Yeah, he knows, but he likes the watered down version now, go. He picked up a case of it tonight, and he's saying it's banging. But, Jamie, that night when you come on my live, I did spot what beers you had. He, was, he had like a little house made out of crates of beer, and I spotted Carlin in there. That's why I'm doubting your opinion. <laughs> But he's there, you know. Cheers, mate. The box. The brewery seems cheap for. The... All right. Yeah, I've I've never heard of them to be honest, James. But if you do end up trying them out, let us know if they're any good. Because um, you know, I don't try that many craft beers. It's it's a cost thing, you know. So if there's a good cheap brewery out there i'll give it a go like williams brothers as well they're, they're quite well their craft beer are quite cheap i'm not fucking about her. i think pot luck is more fun what do you mean by that pot in the brown or the pink or are you talking about like hang on they make a silly whiskey strong beer Madness. How can I send money? I'll help you out. Yeah, you ain't gotta send me money, mate. Was Diner or Crombacker? Oh it's been quite a while since I had either. I'd probably put them on pretty much evil pegging from what I can remember, but if I really had to pick it would be probably more guessing. I'd go for the Crombacker because it's a Pilsner, and I like Pilsner. But it's been so long since I had them. Yeah, I had Carlin. It was from Christmas. <laughs> I noticed, mate. <laughs> Paul Lerner makes a great rice beer. Yeah, I love Paul Lerner rice beer. It is probably my top three rice beers, and I've tried a lot of rice beers. And Paul on as a cracker. I can't read that. It sounds blood of this is that next word that worries me. It's a sour black owl, loads of darkness. Missionary or doggy? <laughs> I'm getting all the funny questions tonight. <laughs> doggy, missionary's boring, isn't it? Get over. <laughs> Pegging at him. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you Google it? All on a lager or dab. Oh, dab. Dab for me. Paul is in my top three. Also had fantastic mass. Yeah, great. Might have been number one. It's just, it's so little in them. It can just depend on what you fancy. I'll, I'll pick dab. Never Paul on a lager. I like Paul on a lager. But I really like dab as well. I don't know. I don't know, actually. It's been a while since I had Paul on. I had that more recently, so it's more fresh in the memory. It could just be that. Bananas Foster Collab with Vault City. Banan what? Bananas Fos Bananas Foster Collab with Vault City. 9.5 ABC. £2.10. Yeah, I date though. Banana Foster Collab. That sounds interesting. Enjoy it. 
Sounds mental, mate. Cobra or Kingfisher? I've only tried Kingfisher once and it was out of a can and I prefer Cobra, I think. But it's one of the ones I think I'd like to try Kingfisher again out of a bottle. But I really hated it out of a can, so I've not gave it a chance out of a bottle. It sort of scarred me a bit. I didn't like it. Only live ones. <sighs> yeah, Jamie, you don't have to give me no money, but there is a membership if you want to join it. Uh, I don't know who's that. Or you can do a super chat, but I'm not here for your money. If you want to, that's up to you. All I know, Vine Safano is definitely top three. Yeah, I think we got a similar uh, similar tastes, mate, because I, I like both of them ones. Yeah, Jamie, you're like Vice Beer, Jennifer. Marwan Reaction. Hey, what's up, mate? Thanks for joining the live. Hope you're doing good. Um, we're just talking about beer, assholes, pegging. Um, welcome. <laughs> All sorts going on, mate. Uh, are you having a drink, Marwan? Any plans for the weekend? Hey, doing good. To see you. Um, Mel Slogan, we've got Kingfisher. I've had a few of them. Hopefully, good. A lot of people. Like Kingfisher, and like I said, I tried out of a can, and I, I don't know if it was a bit close to the out of date or what. I don't know. I don't particularly like Indian beer, if I'm honest, but if I had to pick one from memory, it would be the Cobra, even though I think it's not great. I had a Cobra a couple of weeks ago with a curry, and it was that we get about the Cobra, the curry was shocking. I took the missus for a curry. We actually got a babysitter for once because we've got five kids that live in the house. Not an easy thing to get a babysitter. We did. It was her birthday. I took her to an Indian restaurant. Cost us 70 quid to have a curry each in this restaurant. I had a pint of Cobra and she had like a Captain and Coke. And uh, the Indian was the worst Indian I've ever had. So the most I've ever spent on an Indian in my life. I was also the worst one I've ever had. It was crap. You see me short about Cobra. I can't do it anymore because my voice is gone. There's shit I've got going on. But as uh, people say, Cobra goes well. Uh, sorry, people say Cobra goes well with a curry because it's from India. Ding, 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 ding. You talk a lot of shit. 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 Can't do the high pitch thing anymore. Bless me. You're missing out on the fun of bargain hunting. Whether the beers are good is why I turn up here. I'm going to try that site. I love a bargain, a bargain hunting. That's why I'm always in own bargains. Then what's new in there? What? <laughs> I'm watching you from Egypt. Wow. What are you doing in Egypt? You're not on a day or are you Egyptian? And I've tried the Egyptian Stella. If you are on holiday in Egypt, have you had the Egyptian Stella? I've actually reviewed it on the channel. I put it up against the UK brewed Stella. I've done Egyptian Stella versus UK brewed Stella. And they were both shit. You have to have Cobra with a curry. Don't think I've ever drunk it about a curry. <laughs> just, you have to have it with a curry. You know why? Because when you go to an Indian restaurant, it's the only fucking beer they normally sell, isn't it? Or, or getting rich. <laughs> you don't get a choice in it. That's why it goes well. Mark's out poo. Mark's out for a poo. Who's Mark? Have a nice poo, Mark. Budweiser, Budvar, or pills. A pills no quell. Pills no quell. Then you have to think about that one. Pills no quell is one of my absolute favourites. It's only four point four percent, and it just got a cracking bitterness. It's spicy. It's just 
I love that beer. Absolutely love it. Budvar, I like it, but I don't love it. And I think it's a bit overrated, if I'm honest. I find it a bit inconsistent. Pilsner crowd just hits the spot for me. I think, as I say, I do like Pilsner. I like a bitter Pilsner. And uh, but, uh, Pilsner Quell is like 50 IBUs or something like that. Um, yeah, I would, mate. I, I don't know what you would because I forgot what the question was. Adam, the Egyptian Stella has actually nothing to do with Stella Yana. This happens to have the same name. I know it's nothing to do with it. But just because they have the same name, we'll put them against each other. And they call it Star in Egypt. I only got hold of it because my brother went to Egypt and then um, that's what was everywhere was uh, Stella. Um, and I thought, yeah, bring me back a can. I'll, I'll do a. Um, I do a beer battle <laughs> against the normal Stella. Um, you have to try it. Oh, LED. My tits are worth more than 2p. P. I ain't no fucking cheap or mate. Fucking hell. Who do you think I am? Hey, you joking, mate. There's some tits. Two quid. That's my going rate if you want to see some tits. Bah, look at them. <laughs> oh my god, you mean alcohol? I thought you meant an Egyptian dish. <laughs> Some slapper. I'm a little slapper, cheap or two quid, and I'll show you my tits. Heineken or Bavaria? Uh, Heineken. Maybe it's the Dutch brewed one. I don't mind that. We got a Bud Bar, five litre keg and home bargains. Yeah, I've had one. I've, I had one last summer, actually. And um, I stuck it in the, uh, the freezer for a couple of hours. Good couple of hours. And then um, I was meeting up with my brothers on the beach. Um, for a piss up on the beach with my brothers. We all brought our girlfriends. The mum come along. Just like a family piss up on the beach. They all turn up with their beers now, and I come with the keg. I'm like, yeah, come on. And I had a, a bag full of pint glasses. And then we all had a nice pint of uh, Bud Bar. It was very nice out of the keg, actually. I must say, it tasted better out of the keg than what it does out of cans and bowls. Um, slap. Got a Bud Bar, five litre keg. My own bargain, 16. I've already read that. £10 for beer sex. Good. But it's a hot, sexy god o'clock. Yeah. £10 for beer sex. What is beer sex? I'm going to shove my bottle of butt bar up your arse, you slag. Bargain, but why not pierce them for charity stream over my butt sake? <laughs> God, I ain't doing that for two quid. Maybe two grand. Fuck that. <sighs> Pierce me nipples. If I get 100 bads and subscribers, I'll do it for free. I know that never happens. <laughs> Stella Artois or Tisky? Are you talking the UK brood? Stella, if you are Tisky all day long. If you're talking the Belgian one, it's closer, but I'd probably go for the Belgium seller. But Tisky any day over the UK brood seller. Oh, to be fair, that's that's a close one. I'll go for the Stella on Fieldwood. Sorry, Jennifer, but I've got to be honest. Much I love you, I'd go for the Stella on Fieldwood. But this. It's, it's it's not a one not a not a one way race. I did have to think about it a little bit, but I do really like Stella on Field. It reminds me a little bit of the old Stella. 
Get that tisky right up there, Jen. Tisky, you like tisky, Jenny? <laughs> Ooh, oh, I broke Jennifer's heart. She's gonna unsubscribe now. <laughs> um, by the way, thank you, um, LED, for the um, uh, for the two quid. And I was joking about you earlier, but I do appreciate it, mate. It does help support the channel, and I really appreciate it. Say, say, soy. Oh, is that the Ronaldo thing? Sue! Who the fuck is Sue? His missus name Sue. What does it even mean? We have a live show coming next week. Guinness. <laughs> For me, I do. Forged. I could see how some people would prefer it, but for me, I found it sweeter, and I don't really have a sweet tooth, so I prefer Guinness. I think Guinness is a bit less sweet, although the forge was nice and creamy and that. I just, I, I could enjoy a, a forged, but I couldn't session it. It just get too sweet. So overall, I'd pick a Guinness because I could have one forge and enjoy it. Whereas Guinness, I could drink all night, and then have, really regret it the next day when I'm shit in black poo. Overall, I'd, I'd pick I'd pick the Guinness, you know, just for the sessionability of it because it's not too sweet. But you know, black poos are an issue. But you get that with both of them, don't you? The stats in general. Who likes a black poo? Sticky black Guinness shit. I think that was a deliverance surcharge. Say posh. Uh, cause light or bud light? Oh, for fuck's sake. Where'd you rather? Oh, my God. Cause light or bud light? Oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Um, you got a pick, don't sit on the fence, you knob. Um, cause like, <laughs> oh, what Jennifer said, death, <laughs> just kill me. <laughs> cause like, or bud like, hmm, god, I'm looking forward to dying. <laughs> no problem, Mads. You're a good, funny man. I always enjoy the banter on your lives. Thanks, Sally D, mate. I really appreciate it. It means a lot, mate. Honestly. You're nice and creamy, lol. <laughs> Who likes black poo? Is this a voting question? <laughs> it's just, like, that's the thing, like, Guinness is one of those drinks, like, I like it. Like, and a lot of the times... I like it. I don't like love, love, love it, but I love. Well, I like Guinness, but a lot of the time I drink it because they've only got like Madries and Cruz Campos and that on in the pubs. And a session is so easy to drink; it's weak, and you can easily smash ten pints again. It's no worries. And the next day, or even multiple days, you're just living with that constant reminder that you were sessioned on Guinness because. It's just pure blackness coming out of the poo hole. How long have you been drinking? What, tonight? Or just in general? If you're talking about tonight, I've been drinking for three hours and 25 minutes. Um, and I've had eight beers. Any more questions, officer? No, you're joking. But if you're talking just in general... Um, I've been drinking since I was swimming around in my dad's left testicle because he used to love a beer as well. I say used to. He still does love a beer. He's not dead or nothing. Special brew or tenant soup. <laughs> I'm loving these like questions where I have to pick one. I'm actually enjoying it. So keep them coming, guys. Special brew or super tenants? Super tenants. 
I don't know, they're not that special, bro. Bro, to be fair, I can't particularly remember Super Tenants much, but I'll go for Tenants. Amazon and Amazon had a Brood Dog Black Heart deal. I bagged a few. I actually preferred the Black Heart's attempt at Guinness, or Brew Dog's attempt at Guinness, more than what I did uh, Conor McGregor's one. In general, uh, like I said, I've been drinking since I was swimming around in my dad's nutsack. No, but no, to, to be honest, I probably started drinking quite young. 13, 14. I was drinking pints in the pub around 14 and a half. Because I used to go to the pub with me. My dad like pretty much lived in the pub on the weekends, especially. And uh, I was always there with him. And it was different back then. You know, it's a different world than the world today. You know, back then you could smoke in the pub. You know, and if they knew your dad, mum and dad, once you get to about 14, 15, you can have a pint in the pub. No questions asked. If anybody comes in that you're not sure about, just move to being near your dad. No, it's a different world altogether. A world where men had penises and women didn't. For example, when you could actually smoke in the pub. and Yeah, about 14. Properly, probably about 14. Better than Guinness draft, in my opinion. Is that the uh, Adam? Have you drunk blue caracal Then had a green poo? No, I haven't. I'll add it to the bucket list. I've had a black poo. Why not have a green one? Why not? Black D, no difference. Black tea. That's 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 a different that's a different matter altogether, isn't it? The original is always on my bar. I grew up with it. Fair enough, mate. Um then it's original. Gold label or pony. Pony? What's pony? Or super piss. <laughs> BJ or T Wank. <laughs> BJ. Depends on the tits, I suppose, isn't it? Oh, that's that's an odd one. Depends how good they are at fucking cock, I suppose. And how big their tits are. Adam is love for you to order some beamish in and review it. Um, Adam, here's love for you. You'd love me to order some Beamish and review it. I'd love to try Beamish, actually. Because uh, I do, actually. I have high Irish heritage. I'm, um, well, my mum's heart. My granddad was Irish. So does that make me a quarter? It makes my mum half. So that make me a quarter. Is that right? My granddad was, like, full on Irish, so. Thinking since he was 15 years old, yeah, and I was about 14 when I started drinking regularly. Not like regularly, regularly, but whenever I could get my hands on it, very much. I was only 14 years old. Like, I, I like snake bite, even even now, even though I'm a beer reviewer, um, I, I still like snake bite. Uh, I had one last night actually, um, after the live because I had um, one more can of um, that Heineken left. I was drinking the small cans, and I had a cider that I don't particularly like in the fridge. And I just thought, put them together, tried it, it tasted a little bit shit. So I just put a little pinch of black currant in it, and it was a while. How you that's easy. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> My Irish mate said me try that. Wasn't a fan. Much preferred Murphy's. I like Murphy's. I have tried Murphy's, and I really like Murphy's. Doesn't Beamish have more of a like tobacco-y kind of taste to it? I've been drinking since I was four years old. That's why I'm only 41. <laughs> I'm going to get another beer. Hi. Excuse me. I didn't get all me down the top that. Didn't get it all down my top that time. Jennifer, the old uh, good, reliable, cheap and van back appeals now. Four cans, three pound forty nine and LDs. Cheap as chips, but rather palatable. There we go. I've used the same glass all night. I'm well impressed. Normally, get up the next day. Miss is like, why is there six different glasses on the table? It's like, oh, yeah, because my first beer was a weed beer. And then I had a lager. And then I had, like, a Belgian sister. <laughs> does it really matter? I don't know. Well, it does, but, you know, after a few, it don't. Could think of an alternative to me, <laughs> Tried Murphy's a few years ago from a can. Yeah, that, it has disappeared. It has disappeared. Last time I see it was in Home Bargains, actually. London Pride, easy for me. Uh, just disappeared all of a sudden. Maybe Guinness stopped them. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Murphy's known by Harlequin, Ali. By her break for Adam. Thunderbird or Night Train or Buckfuck. <laughs> if you've not heard of them, Google them, but they are the real and clean. We had a buck fast. I don't know what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Where uh, are you going to the football, aren't you? Where are you, where are you fucking Sheffield United top? What I say. You're going to the football anyway. Or maybe wear a shirt to the meal. Then you can have your meal and just go, Ugh. and she thinks she's going to see some man breasticles. And then you just unleash the Sheffield United shirt. And she goes, I quite liked you until I see that fucking shirt. <laughs> Good man. Just go into the stock room. John Smith's or Boddington's. Oh, fucking hell. Um, <laughs> If I'm honest, I've never tried Bonnington's. I have tried John Smith's. 
I'll even put it for the nitro surger in, in the video on the channel. Um, didn't really taste like much of a honest. Um, I wouldn't say it was horrible. It just don't taste like fuck all. Um, I'm guessing they're very similar. I go with John Smith's because I'm not dry body in. So, um, one for myself. Drink it from the can. A bit late now, isn't it? Good day, huh? Just have it. Oh, do Murphy's on draft, Snarko. Nice. Nice to see that it's still about then. Get some nice clobber on Jamie. We've added us trainers. <laughs> Gazelles are a great choice. Top was triple pants. <laughs> I hope it goes well for you, Jamie. You'll have to let us know <laughs> next time how your date went next week. Did Jamie get his end away on the first date? Uh, I don't wear like Stone Island and PC company, Jake's. Stone Island. Fucking hell, you got a few Bob mate in you. Fucking expensive, that. What are you sipping on, Marco? I'm on the river. Brownell or Double Maxim? What, Newcastle Brownell? Double Maxim all day long. Uh, I'm going to try out all their stouts on tap. I'd love to, I've not, even though I'm quarter Irish, I've never been to Ireland. I've not really had the opportunity to travel the world much. I'd love to. Jamie Watt on surprise of a mankini. <laughs> You'd never expect that. <laughs> yeah, full bottle of Borat mankini. Check out my cock. It's very nice. <laughs> I'm not drinking anything at the moment, James. Gave it to the Miss. Gave, you gave it to the missus. What, like, your drink? Or you gave it to the missus. But secured four cans of quality dab German beer. Earlier. <laughs> like, I want to power some chocolate or something. Buy some flowers. It's always romantic. According to my DNA, Adam, I'm 30%, 36% English and 35% Irish. Okay. And what about the rest? A uh, little bit of this, that, and the other. I'd love to get that DNA test done to find out exactly who my ancestors have been shagging. Pretty much, isn't it? Did anyone ever sort of go for an African and my part African? Probably not. I'd have a massive cock, wouldn't I? And lots and lots of Stone Island jackets. Yeah, but they're like five or six hundred quid a pop or something. Or is it fake stuff? Dodgy Stone Island dealer. No doubt the Scandinavian got in there. Ninety-eight <laughs> percent Geordie, two percent Martian. <laughs> oh, you know what? These guys are pucker, man. Seriously. Like we may only have like eighteen people, but God, it's all about the quality of the people, not the quantity. 
like the comments are flowing nice we're all having a good chat all having a laugh love it it's nearly one o'clock in the morning do we care <laughs> it's probably eight percent cheap. <laughs> oh, Jennifer's got a pack of sense of humor. Um, I wish I have. <laughs> pay lots of them yeah it's very expensive mate wish i could afford the stone island globber this is from fucking matterland costing about 15 quid it's got breast milk stain on 80 percent welsh 20 percent sheep shagger i've reviewed a beer called sheep shagger remember that one if you've not added me on Facebook, add me on Facebook, people, because I'll let you know when I go live and that on Facebook. There's a link on me paid somewhere for it. And um, the background of my Facebook page has got me making love to a sheep. And that was a thumbnail that I used for the sheep shagger beer, which nobody really cared about, but I think a few people watched it. It was a thumbnail. Therefore, I wish... I work hard for that. Black guy's got nothing on you, <laughs> Daddy. Your breast milk. Yeah, breast milk. About six percent straight from the tit. Never mind all that. Oh yeah, I like my beer from the pub I'm pumping all that. Straight from the tit. Six percent ABV breast milk. That's what it averages out, I think. I think I drink about 6% of breast milk, I reckon it'll be. Roughly, maybe a bit higher than that, because every now and again, I'll chuck in like a 10% or something. We might bring it up a bit. If you think about all the alcohol you consume, guys, let's just say we all produce breast milk, whether you're male or female, pregnant or not. What ABV do you reckon your breast milk would be? Don't know what mine would be because, like, sometimes I drink some triple Belgian triples, but then, like, in general, it's probably mostly around five percent. I reckon my breast milk would be six something. What would your breast milk be, guys? That land is pretty decent, to be fair. I, when I was younger, I used to wear Burberry hats and Burberry shirts. And all. As you get older, when you've got loads of kids and all that, you just don't give a shit anymore. I mean, I could go out and buy more expensive clothes. Would it make any difference? Not really. Would it make me feel better? Not really. I just feel like I just wasted a load of money. Would it get me more pussy? Miss don't care. I did see that one comedy sentence. <laughs> Adam, you ever tried a barrel aged beer? It might cost you a few quid, but you need to know. I have done. And I did really like it. And sometimes you get what you pay for, didn't you? Do you get bitter from the right or do you get bitter from the right and lager from the left? <laughs> yeah, you've got to try them out, haven't you? Might be piss. <laughs> Mine will be like a weak Foster's. Don't drink enough for it to be decent. <laughs> Channel only for me. What do you mean? Do 
I don't have kids, so at the moment, no girlfriend, so all my money is mine. Fair enough, mate. Spoil yourself. Make yourself feel pretty. Why not? I mean, when very few times I've been single, you do tend to focus on yourself a bit more. Before I met my current girlfriend, I actually went to the gym. I went to the gym every day for about six months before I met her. You know what I did after the gym? Went straight to Subway and got a big, fat, foot-long baguette and then went straight to the pub for the rest of the night. I still lost loads of weight. Is that a shisha? No, nah, it's just a vape. Uh, so I've got it connected to a massive wire, a bit like the one that's going to be going up my bum soon. Um, it's very extra extravagantly long wire. Um, it goes on and on. Uh, because it used to be the wire that I used for my virtual reality headset thing. And so you need it to be really long so you can sort of pretend to beat people up or whatever. Uh and Chris, welcome to the stream, mate. Good to see you as always, mate. And I hope you keep them well. Um, a little bit tipsy. Uh, we've been talking about all sorts of things tonight. Good to have you on board, mate. Any plans for the weekend, Chris? Are you having a beer tonight? What's going on, mate? Um, get a nice big 4K OLED TV, Jamie. Watch some sick films and stuff. I got a 4K TV in the front room, but I got a, I went for QLED, which is also very good. Chanel, I'm a posh tart. Oh, not channel. Chanel, you posh tart. Chanel, Very expensive. Hi, mate. In the Jennifer's really nice, but now we all know she's fucking high maintenance. Have you tried Buxton Kingslayer 8% double IPA? There's Eric uh, Ramkasoon. Um, it rings a bell. But to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the name does ring a bell. Have been drinking lately, taking the dog for a walk tomorrow with some mates, but nothing much more planned. Fair play, mate. What dog what dog you got? That's a Samsung we had, ain't it? I went with the LG this time around. Uh, my TV is not actually Samsung. It's actually um, it was the first time I've ever bought a TV by this make. It's not like a, an expensive brand. It's I think it's called something like High Sense, High Sense, something like that. Uh, and it's a uh, it was the official TV of the last Euros, which they reckon was the best TV to watch the football on. I want it to come out the other roll. I've had trap winds. Keep burping it. Yep, Tisky and Jaffa cakes and I'm happy. Yeah, and Chanel. Not just Tisky, Tisky and Jaffa cakes. Be careful with your dog and stuff. <laughs> I know that's it. High Sense is a Chinese brand, yeah. Yeah, it was it was the official TV of the last Euros or something. You know, the one where it and he really fuck us over. A big TV though, too big for my little front room. Even though there's seven of us in this ass. There's seven of us in it. everything reminds me of it. That fucking thing I need to have done. 
I can't say even say the word house. Although I don't say house, I say ass, which is very close to arse, which reminds me of the operation again. You know what? The TV itself is very, very good, but the software is shit, as in, like, it keeps getting problems, like, and I have to, like, take the power thing out of the TV and put it back in, and it sorts it out, and it's just the picture and that, when it's working properly, is banging. Everyone comes around and is like, wow, your TV is really nice. But it's... uh it's the software and that it's dodgy. It keeps getting things wrong with it. And I have to like proper disconnect it from the mains for it to sort out. It's annoying. Beer drinker, evening, mate. How you doing, beer drinker? Are you having a beer tonight? What beer are you drinking, beer drinker, if you are drinking? And have you got any plans for the weekend? Paramount is in the hails. After last night's anal chat, he thought he's got to come and uh, join again. Hey, there, mate. Good evening, mate. Um, the LG is two. Um, yeah, Adam, your TV size should be proportional to your room size. Yeah, I've got a tiny front room and a massive, I think it's 65 inch, which, you know, to me, that's quite big. But my front room is very small. I don't have a very big ass. Everything reminds me of it. God, I think I'm already traumatized. I blame wearing my beer. Uh, stuck at work, sadly. Oh, mate. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, mate. So you're at work in a minute then? You're on your lunch break or something, mate. Um, wish the May done TV just the screens. <laughs> Beer tomorrow, though. That's it, mate. It'll soon be over with. Before you know it, you'll be having a beer. You've got that to look forward to, at least. Never heard of an Imperial Weizenbock. I've heard of a Weizenbock. I've never heard of an Imperial Weizenbock. Oh, that's a cracking beer, Frank. How you doing, Frank? Thanks for joining the live. Is that what you're drinking? I love that beer. Yeah, to be honest, Adam, I bought an Apple TV, walk eight box in the last year. So much better than the built <laughs> the built-in TV software. Yeah, I mean, some of the built-in TV software is not the best, is it? And sometimes, if you buy a, a brand like Hisense, they put all the budget into the picture being the bollocks, but. Where it's quite a cheap brand, you don't have very fast processors and that in the TV itself. I think sixty-five is a long way up the bum. <laughs> sixty-five inches up your ass. Don't, because if you actually think about it, I've got to have a camera at least three foot up my ass, which still scares the life out of me. How many inches are in a foot? Is it twelve? Uh, I'm taking half my TV up my ass. Um, 9.5% for £2.10, you'd have to. <laughs> sure, James. LG is South Korean. <sighs> Working at the moment, just work on the live chat so I can skype easy. Fair enough, mate. <laughs> <laughs> got to do what you got to do, mate, to get through the day. <laughs> Watching Baby Reindeer is effing great on Netflix. Baby Reindeer. I don't have Netflix at the minute. I've got Amazon Prime uh, and Disney, I think. I'm a free man. I can do something about myself and tell me what I can sell my money on. Work hard where well, I'm right. My home is paid off already. That's it. Take your time. Make sure you find a nice one, Jamie. Don't rush into anything. Take your time. Enjoy. 
being single for a bit. Put it about a bit, you know. Find someone who really, uh, find someone you really like. Tiny room with a massive D. I've got you, big fan. <laughs> The guts are like 20 foot long. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sure whoever it was last night says at least. He's, no, he said it's more than three foot. He said the first three feet when they go up your ass is the worst. Meaning, like, how far do they actually fucking go? Maybe all 20 foot, Jennifer. Oh, breaking it, man. No, I'll laugh, but that's exactly that, Adam. The processes in the TVs are mainly used for the picture, and the rest is second. Yeah. Don't worry, Ed. We'll try not to mention your situation. <laughs> You're not a bum. I won't be angry about it. Just don't be arsey, and you won't hear it. I was mentioning it. And that's from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I thought he was going to say bottom of my ass. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I'll be like a new man and a live stream after that. I'll never be the same. Hello, guys. <laughs> I'll be I'll be turning the camera off when I walk to get another beer so you don't watch him walk like a penguin. Oh, mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> There's Retro Dave. I've got a 75 inch QNED mini LED ready good TV, but I also have a projector. The screen is even bigger, nice. I'm actually more of a sand whore. I like a nice TV, don't get me wrong. I really got a thing for good sand. I got like the. Um, Sonos um Saran sound kit with a Sonos Arc and the um Sonos sub and the surround speakers sounds fantastic. It really does. I hate the LG software on our TV, but the TV is good. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit how I feel about my TV. Picture itself spot on. But the TV is a bit shit. I don't pay for the only fans to watch of your bum. You don't want to see the camera going up my bum. Bums. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I, th I thought it was an opportunity to make loads of money on only fans. I thought people would pay good money to see the inside of my arsehole. Barry's Adam. I have a limp wrist. <laughs> oh. You have to do the live standing up and <laughs> You've got the Sonos gear. Uh, I've got the Sonos. Um, so I prefer myself. I've got a Sonos Arc, Sonos Sub, and I've got like the Sarans as well. And my tiny front room has got my front room's not really like a front room, it's more like a cinema. It's like a little cinema. All the TVs, all the chairs recline, electric recline chairs. We've got a sound system, decent TV. But, um the sound system is the one, though. Yeah, you, the Sonos thing, you can you control it on your phone. Boom, shake the room, yeah. <laughs> does as well. When I turn the, the sub fully up, it's like just... Luckily, I'm in the, like, an old house, so the walls are like, back when you used to build houses pro, properly, they've got like big, big walls on. 
and the neighbors say they don't hear it too much so i would pay for it daddy <laughs> i've heard sonos is fantastic yeah it, it's uh it's very expensive though but if you're into your sand good sand it's worth it me and uh, i couldn't afford just to go because it's ridiculous the ridiculously priced but i brought one thing at a time i bought the sandbar then i bought um the backing speakers and then i bought uh, the sub and that and i paid it all off all you can just have the sandbar to start off with which sounds fantastic on its own just buy the sandbar and then what i done is i paid off for a monthly so after a year of paying off for the sandbar I added the surrounds, I paid off for them for a year, and then I had the sub, I paid off for that. And then when I finally got the sub, it made such, it just made it, it just completed the the puzzle. The, the sub was the most overpriced thing. The, just for the subwoofer, on its own, just the subwoofer was £800, just for the sub, on its own. 800 quid, that's insane. But sand is, is, I've always liked good sand. Even if the, like you're compromising a bit on your TV, I'll pick sand any day because that's what immersives, immerses, immerses me in. You need a scotch or a bourbon. Could you pick one for me to catch up? Mm, go for a scotch. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, James. Can I flex? I've got a 1,200 watt amp. It's a monster. Reflex. Do you into your uh, good sound and that as well? Definitely into a bit of a boom, boom, boom. Everything reminds me of it. Fucking hell. I think I'm actually traumatized. Fuck say. Um fuck I need to get up and fire for hours hoops. Time flies when you're talking about asses, beard and shit. Catch you soon, Ad. And peeps. Catch you soon, Ali. Thanks for joining, mate. And uh I hope <laughs> I hope um I hope to see you soon, bud. Oh, mine just went blank there. Um you can't call it a small room when you're in it. Oh, yeah. It's weird. My front room kind of like Behind these windows, the front room's like next door. They're kind of joined together in a sense, but this is a dining room. The front room's just a little bit bigger than the dining room, but like it's, it's long but narrow. A long, narrow front room. NFC and natural. Can belt turn then <laughs> you don't double then. I bought JBL bar one three thousand last year. It's a sandbar with wireless subwoofer, but either in sandbar speakers which connect to magnets, but you can't take them off. And you oh. You can take them off and use them while I see. Nice. JBL stuff's supposed to be pretty good, really. It's not nothing I've ever tested. Yeah, the Sonos has got the old uh, Dolby Atmos on that. And like, you have to mess about with the settings a bit, but when you get it right, literally, like, if a helicopter flies by on a film or something, it's literally... It's, it's better than some cinemas. 
is absolutely incredible. You can adjust the height, like how high you want it to be. Once you get it right, and there's videos, there's videos on YouTube in that. I can help you out. I better admit I'm 60. Child, non chill, filtered, and no comments. That one will be in 60, mate. I hate Bluetooth. And it can't do full quality. Yeah, that's that's the good thing about um the Sonos identified. It doesn't run by Bluetooth. It runs but you actually have to connect the speakers individually to your Wi Fi. <clears throat> so you need to have a good Wi Fi uh, to get the best sound. And if you ain't, they do a little Wi Fi booster box, but my Wi Fi is good luckily. Wi Fi can, yeah. We were all paranoid back then. <laughs> yeah. All sorts of shit. Sandbars have one port. They can't play music. The Sonos. The Sonos bloody can't tell you that. It absolutely booms. If you've got the sub and the... the it, on its own... Yeah, I agree with you. It lacks a bit when it comes to music. But once you've got a sub, it's like, it's a weird one, Jennifer. Like, when you got the sub, when the Sonos arc, once, once you get the sub, the arc focuses on more on the treble and stuff because it doesn't have to worry about bass anymore because you've got the sub. It like all of a sudden the arc sounds so much better because the sub does all that sort of stuff, and the arc can focus on what it's best at. Uh, you guys just let the commies in through your back door. All right, bud, still getting pissed. All right, Steve, how you doing, mate? I don't get pissed, mate. It will be going short. Four hours, four hours. One quarter past one. Time flies. Time flies on these streams, I tell you. Yeah, then the subroof of what comes with the JBL bar is five levels default. Three, that's basically enough as it is. Can't knock a bit of Aussie. My soundbar can... And believe me, mine costs over a grand for the system package. Mm. Jose M. Fernandez, welcome to the live, mate. You just finished a tough exam with it uh, this week. I'm really craving a beer or a cider. Do it, mate. Yeah, you deserve it. You've just been doing your exams. What are you going to go for? Smart tech, I don't know, but I hear stories. I've got a 5.1 surround sound, but would like Atmos too. Atmos is one of them things, though. Like, you'll buy cheap Atmos. Atmos. Sandbars and they're not really Atmos. You need to buy a good one. And I recommend the Sonos because you can, as I say, if you just buy the sandbar, it sounds good on its own. You can add to it as you get more money. I use use like a catalog very, and I bought the sandbar, paid off for it, interest free for a year, and say so then I added the other stuff one at a time. And then when it all come together, I was just so happy. Thanks, I'm buddy back and Shepherd's name. Nine, uh, 1698 tonight. Now on the red wine, I'm fucking traitor, right? <laughs> you fucking traitor, Steve. How dare you? You drink fucking red wine? Psh. 
Nah, to be honest with you, why not? You know, Barty back. That's a cracking L. Shepard Neem, 1698, another cracker. I, I actually had a a red wine a few weeks back. I've, I've got the three for six, three for six pound deal out of Tesco's. Uh, and I couldn't think of another beer to get. And I just thought, well, let's try something different. I'll grab some little mini bottle of red wine. And I'm not really a, a wine drinker, but I actually really enjoyed it. I can't remember what the bloody hell it was called, but it was nice. Um, I have a PMC speaker set up. They're different world. PMC. I've not heard of that, actually. Um, also, Adam, with the Apple TV 4K box, you can use Apple Music on it. There are songs on there which we must. Yeah. I, I've tried the Apple Music thing with my Sonos and uh, the Dolby Atmos ones, Sam Parker. I really do. Because it's all right having a good system. But it can only be as good as the content that you're putting into it, if that makes sense. And it kind of ends up costing you what well, you spend all that money on a good system. You know, if you're watching YouTube on it, sounds good. But like, for example, then you watch like Disney on it, Disney Plus, which a lot of the films are done in like full Atmos and that. Then it's different level. But obviously, YouTube doesn't support Dolby Atmos. I don't get drunk. I just drink curling. <laughs> Let's drink curling. Oh. Salud, compadre. Salud. That's cheers in Spanish, isn't it? A little sign there, salud. Salud, Jose. No, 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 just speakers. Sandbars are not real surrounds, Ed. A couple of Taylor landlords at my local tomorrow. I wish I could have eight, but I can't afford it. That's the problem, isn't it, Steve? The prices in the fucking bubs, man. So, it's tough times when a man can't afford to have a fucking session in the pub. Adam, I recognise your hand movements and chip diamond by a bass. Yeah, mate, you know. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> He's, he's a legend, isn't he? No. <laughs> Ed Bassmaster, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he's a fucking funny guy, though. I like the... um. These other guy he does. Uh, just look at it. <laughs> just, just, just look at it. But, but you really got to look at it. Just look at it. The next thing he's doing, the, the diamond guy. Getting <laughs> funny. My sort of humour. Very simple. Feel like me. <clears throat> Question is, do I give in to my sweet tooth and go for a cider, or do I go with the old reliable Carta Blanca? <clears throat> Mix them together, make a snake bite. You heard of a snake bite, Jose? Uh, you basically mix a, cider, a cider and a lager together, and you think, here, yeah, it gets you smashed. Try that. Maybe do a sn snake bite them, half and half, and then drink the rest of the halves after. Let's see what you think. <laughs> Drink both of them, basically. They mix them together, whatever. Movies and music are totally different requirements. Yeah, they definitely are. Salud, it's indeed cheers in Spanish, and it means to your health. Good health to you, mate. 
and hopefully you do well on your exams, mate. I wish you the best. Are we calling it last orders, or is it locking till 3 a.m.? <laughs> Probably should have gone a while back, but... One, Tim? Yes, Adam. Before I got Apple TV, I was using Apple Music app. Oh, right. Don't support the lossless audio. I was using the uh, Apple Music app on the Sonos. I don't know if it supports that or not. It's okay, I'm also addicted to my vape. Addicted, I get addicted to fucking everything, are they? Picked up a box for next week, so I'm good for bed. Might have to, might have to say bye. I'm too drunk soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to shoot off in a minute as well. I've probably uh, gone well past me welcome. So to speak. I'll finish this beer and I'll get the fuck out of here, I think. Sounds good. I've heard good things about JBL actually. I don't know what made me go for the Sonos. I think I just like the fact that you can buy it individually. I always wanted a top notch surround system. I just like the fact that you could just buy the sandbar, which is a lot better than what I had before. And then you can add the rest of the stuff and upgrade it as you go along and that but it is bloody expensive man it's so expensive my friends use vape almost to sent me my wham i wouldn't bother with it if you don't need it don't do it to be honest with you i only vape because i used to smoke and it starts me smoking but i'm still addicted to nicotine but i use a very low level um nicotine um vape now actually I cut it down. I'm only on the. Uh... I'll show you. You can move the camera wants to focus. Focus, you slut. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. It's focus. It's because I'm so pretty. It only wants to focus on me. It's supposed to be a trick. You can put your hand in front of it or something. There you go. Ish. No. Give up, Ad. Why don't you say it's it's zero point six percent? That's true. You believe me. <laughs> but I started off at uh, one point eight, and I'm on zero point six now. So. I'm starting to stay up as long as I have company. You stay up as long as you want to. If you want to go, you go, mate. No, no staying around for me. I was asked to go out tonight, but I was like, nah. For what I pay in the shops, I can get a better night and a lot cheaper. Bash. Cheers. Cheers, Dave. That's it. We can all have a chat together. Come and have a chat with me and all the people that join the, the live. We have a great bunch here. You don't need to go to the pub. We can have the same banter and that here. Save yourself a load of money. Talk about whatever we like. I'm not going to get barred here. Unless you like really overstep the mark, you know what I mean? 
one guy I joined earlier and really wanted to talk about slavery. I don't think that go down too well with you, YouTube. Adam, I also bought a Panasonic 4K Blu-ray player last year. I bought some 4K Blu-rays, and trust me, it's even better than watching on stream. Yeah, you're completely right there. Um, I've got the, um, what's it called? PS5, we can play them. And it's next level. It just completely, when it's coming from a disc, it just completely up, uh, it's, it's, compl it's so much better than the streaming apps for sure. Depends on your budget is what you think is good. Yeah. It does for sure, Jennifer. Very romantic. Jose, Estrella Galicia, number one beer in Spain, right? Better than Sam fucking Miguel for sure. The 4K pitch quality on streaming apps are actually compressed. Yeah, they kind of adjust it to the amount of bandwidth and shit they're getting, don't they? My friends like the mother milk vape. Breast milk flavoured vape. AA vape does me some idiots paying 14 grid for 26. Same here, Steve. Um, farm music. Pan shop. I like the... Um, this isn't my favourite one. So I'm using it in a minute. Oh, I'm not going to go through all that fucking bullshit again. But um, I, I actually like the rolling tobacco one they do. Rolling leaf or something it's called. Oh, I like that because it just reminds me a bit of smoking roll ups. Uh, yeah, I've got some expensive ones up there, and they've been up there for months. I just don't like them. They're all like really fruity and thick, and yeah, uh, really pan shop stuff. <laughs> Ah, so his body well clued up and all that then, Jenny. Favourite vape is Tobacco Monster Bold. Nice vanilla and hazelnut notes. That sounds nice, actually. Um, not bad by any means, but 4K Blu-rays are the best quality, yeah. They are. I think we're called, sort of living in an age where Discs are dying out, aren't they? Blu-ray is 100 times better bit rate than Netflix. Yeah. Sound bars will never beat wired systems into an amplifier. We don't need a pub. We've got the beer monster. Big enough. Low for all of us. Thank you, Michael. Best you, mate. Um, never said that, Dave, but believe me. Be surprised how good it is. Sandbars have come a long way from when they first started over a decade ago. They have a eight very does the job. Does do the job. Does the job for me. I've tried a lot more expensive liquids actually, Dave. Uh sorry, Dave, Steve. Um I've not liked them. More than the fancy ones and it's just not for me. Yeah, I mean, the sandbar is never going to be as good for music because it's not what they're designed for. You're right. But I would say Misonos is good for music, but the one really annoying thing, which I think they should change, is... 
if I'm watching a movie, it sounds good when it's programmed to watch a movie. But then if I want to listen to music, I've got to completely change all the settings because it's a completely different setup. Like when you when I'm listening to music, like the bass and the treble, everything has to be all adjusted. It's a bit of a fucking nightmare, to be honest. And I wish they just had like a profiles you could set up. Like this is the profile I want when I'm listening to music. This is the profile I want when I'm watching movies, and you can switch between them. But you have to like manually go on the app and adjust it all. And it's a bit of a ball lake. Well, Sonos has got this really good thing, which is fantastic. Um, what's the fucking name? Of it? I think it's called True Play. And um, you get the app on your phone. Um, you close all your doors in your room, and uh, you turn on True Play. And you wave your phone up and down, and you have to walk around your room for a few minutes and show the sandbar, the size of your room, and how high it is, where you're sitting. And you have to do all these, you look like a bloody idiot for five minutes doing all these tests it tells you to do. And then it automatically programs your sandbar to your personal room and the size of your room to get the best performance. And that is, it actually makes a massive difference. It's really clever how, how it works. Um, if you just plug it in out of the box and all that, it's nowhere near as good as when you do that true play thing. Like I say, it literally scans your room, size of your room, and it it knows what to do to uh, make it sound better and that. But of course, it's always going to be better for films than it is uh, music. When I've grown up, my dad's a technic amp. of the Technics and Systems. Uh, white Boss Cigars only. Okay, very occasionally I'll have a cigar. On New Year's Day I like to have one. My dad's a cigar smoker. So when I go and visit my dad, uh, I normally have a cigar with my old man. But he's bad, he takes him down. He's in his 60s now. And, uh, he's taken them down his whole life. He's always smoked cigars. And he fucking takes them down. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like the same sort of thing as the uh, Sonos Narco. And it, it really does help, actually. I did notice a big jump in the quality when I've done all that. It's a bit of fucking about it, man, but it's it's worth it. But the only thing is, every time you change something around in your room, you have to recalibrate it because it literally takes in like where your furniture is and all that. And if you like, replace a bit of furniture for something else, you have to redo the test because it changes the the program of what's best for your room and all that all that old game. I'm gonna shut off after this one, guys. But it's been really enjoyable again. And uh let's see, I fucking love you guys and chatting to you guys. Even though we do talk some absolute shit sometimes, literally. Post-millennial music is shit. Music is getting worse, isn't it? Uh, I kind of went for a stage of kind of staying, listening to all the up-to-date stuff and that. And I got to a certain age, and I just realised it's just pure crap now. And I was starting to kind of discover like old music before my time that I'm actually starting to enjoy. I mean, even things like the Beatles and that. 
like from the sixties and that. Like, it's before my time, but I actually put in the effort and listened to a couple of her albums, and it's actually quite good. And lots of the older bands and. I've got a very varied taste in music. Like, I quite happy listen to like clubbing music, drum and bass, and all that. And I quite like Beatles and like some of the older stuff as well. It's depends on the mood, doesn't it? The kind of, calibration is too complex as the Sonos calibration, but it only takes a couple of minutes. Fair enough, mate. <laughs> I run something called Arc. It's a pro version of what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I I have to use the uh the arc as well, Narco. Um I actually had to buy a new fucking telly. Um when I bought my Sonos uh arc. I found out that unless you've got eARC on your telly, you get like a massively reduced quality version of it. It can't produce the sound that it's capable of without eARC. So I fucking got me Sonos Arc and I was like, oh, fuck sake. And I had to wait like another six months before I could afford a new telly. And I got a new telly with the eARC. The one I got now, and it just, it was a massive difference. But yeah, I just say if you, and unless you've got like a very modern telly in the last sort of couple of years, this at least sort of mid range, you're not going to have it. Not a fan of Wacko Jackson, but wow. <laughs> Some people. Bash. It's been a pleasure, as always. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for joining in these lives. Thanks for watching my videos and beer reviews, liking, um, commenting on them. It all really helps if you watch one of my reviews. Try and put some sort of comment in there and like it. It helps the channel out. Uh, and what do you think is the best film to show off your system? Salute. And I heard I head to the store and try a side of beer alchemy. Yeah, do it, mate. It's called a snake bite in the UK. And if, if you say, say if you get an apple cider and a lager, for example, mix them together, and you're not too sure about it, you can add a bit of black currant to it or something. Yeah. Blade. Yeah. I don't know what film's best to show. Well, it's got to be a film with Dolby Atmos, for sure, and good action. I don't have a specific film to kind of show it off, but... As long as you've got Dolby Atmos and it's got a lot of action, it's going to do a good job. Um, yeah. Cheers, James. You have a great weekend as well. All of you. You're all pucker. I love you. And uh, I thank you all so much, honestly. Um, have a great weekend, whatever you get up to, and I'll speak to you soon. I'll be live hopefully next Friday. I can't see no reason why I shouldn't be, unless I'm getting me bum hole rate. Uh, from the camera thing, <laughs> um, and I might even do a little cheeky midweek live or, or something randomly, and um, yeah, take care, people. The next one.
bye bye darlings thought i was fucking frozen didn't you man get the fuck out of here last orders at the bar fuck off the lock-in's over get the fuck out of here